welcome to the heart of Covent Garden. Yes, we are live from the Royal Opera House and we are today celebrating 10 years of World Ballet. Wow, 10 years and we've got a jam-packed five hours for you. Uh, we're going from 60 companies all around the world. We've got uh, American Ballet Theatre, we've got Korean National Ballet, National Ballet of Ukraine, Joe Berg, just to name a few. Yes, we've got rehearsals from Don Quixote, Dante Project and The Cellist. We've got an interesting classical ballet or contemporary ballet. We've got something for everyone. And this truly is a global celebration. We couldn't do this without our partners at the Australian Ballet and San Francisco Ballet. A big thank you to you both. Yeah, thank you so much. And to see what's still to come, you can catch up on all the behind the scenes action by going to our website. And there's the full schedule of the day right there. Yes, but for now, it's everyone's favorite part of the day. It's ballet class. Take it away, Olga. So, okay. Good morning and good morning, Nikki. So first position facing the bar and we start with the head turning right and turning left and turning right again and left. Take left arm, slow side bend, seven and open, eight. Point de front, brush to the back, brush to the front with plie and open and you go first and first and through plie and close as you start other side. Side, 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 side bend, front, back, front, and then you go through one and two and through. Then you reverse it, but with a circle of the head and back bend, and then you go backwards, okay? Ready, please. And over there. Take us the bag, bags over there. And head, and left. And keep the shoulders still and stand up. Left arm and up and over. Good. Yeah. Don't get the arm too far. Careful, guys. Pointe front. Toes back. Plie front. And left side opening back and down. Two first and then plie through and up. And left, right. Right. Yes, stand on all the toes, careful. And left front and back and plie front and two legs opening out. Yeah, a little bit, James, a little bit more connected. And down. And close. Circle the head and two. And back. And this time you go back. But my, it's two shoulders, two shoulders, and top, top. So from here, so not from there. And back. Second, don't sickle the foot, careful. First, and first. Good, down. And last time. Head around, and up. Good. So please, from first, one with single small arm and one with a bounce stretch and grand plié slowly down and up, open, then a little bit forward, just upper body back and all the way down, forward bend, seven. Second position, demi plié, double demi plié, grand plié, towards the bar and then relevé balance. Fourth position is demi plie outside arm down and up, and then inside arm up. You turn towards the bar and towards the cent center. Fifth position right away into grand plie and hold the curl. Okay, three times, three sets, Nikki. Please, and. Stand straight. Just small arm. And one, and uh, stretch. Knees out, Julia, yes, and stretch, and, and, and 
quilos. the bar, sei un po' in ritardo Jack, and don't do that, and up, yeah, it's, Joe, it's a little too high, too wide, so you cannot get heels all the way, so after your plies, get a little smaller, and up, yeah, and no sway packs there guys, and just ending a little stretch and, and round. Arm goes through first, up and just susu up. Okay, left side please. And Piondo, quando vai susu. Gambe molto ampio. And one. And two. And down. down. And down. And allonge first. Good. Yes. Good. Yes, Brayden. And stretch. And upper body. And open. Back. Right. And up. Arms through first. And up. Yeah, you just don't get stuck there. And then me. And stretch. And then back. And on. And. And don't be late, Matt. And one. And. Yeah. yeah for me, that you don't want to turn. You want to turn the head. Yes, but the shoulder blades, they stay open, yeah? Yeah. Four, two demi plies on two legs. Yeah, Theo, will you cross the fourth a little, make smaller? Yeah, it's a little too big for me. And, and heels down. And, and just you soon. Thank you. All right. So back to first position and we go point front and flex and point back to first. One slow dégagé close and one quarter second. And you do it in four directions. Two and three and four. One slow out one second back and you start backwards. Exactly the same. Four times. Yeah. And Front point and flex, that's what it is. One, and flex. Point, first, out, in. Front side, close. Yeah, mind your thumbs off. Long leg, now, down. Yeah, don't anticipate and open this side. So for all of you joining us, we're here in ballet class. So it's something that we do every morning. Um, we're at the bar, slowly warming the bodies up. You know, we start with the plies, tondus, and it's just progressively um, getting the bodies to be able to cope with the demands of the day. Exactly, and the class you know, is very much you know, the, the, the basis um, for the day, for rehearsals. Um, it's the, the moment I find when you come back to classes where you go, okay, how's my body feeling? What are the things I want to work on? Um, yes, you warm up for the rehearsals, but it's also a way of fine-tuning your technique, isn't it? You're right, it's a little scan of the body, isn't it, to begin with? Exactly. How are we feeling? What do we need today? And also being mindful, like, what does the day consist of? You know, each individual, we have a very different day. Some will have a really demanding day. Some might just have class and an easy rehearsal, so it can be a very different thing for each individual. 
développer. Second, développer. Fifth, and fifth, and you reverse. Sit back and fifth. One through, développer. Second, développer. Fifth, and fifth, and you repeat it. One sliding out, one développer. Développer second, yeah? All right, and out on one. Point one, position and foot presented, present heel front, fifth and fifth, full stretch, yeah, more full stretch, yeah, but uh, 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 maybe a little more developing, so it doesn't go just this way, but it goes, that's it, yes, front, same there, same there, Olive, yes, are you breathing, good, so you say, Yes, Hannah, other side, yeah. and one. Make sure you don't trip over the leg <laughs> warmers. Back, good. Second, yes, right. Heel front, my every time. Yeah. Develop a front, remember, yes? And support your hand, don't drop it down, uh, Nadia. That's it, yes. All right. Okay, good. So, we go start with a pointe front, so leg prepared, and you go down one and two, transfer weight three and four, brush foot back, brush foot front, just off the floor, and develop it to the back. You reverse. It only takes like four counts or something like this, and brush and brush and develop it to the front. And you repeat front, back, two brushes, and through envelope, you go back. Ready? And prepare foot, plie down and up and down and up. Toes back, heel front, develop back. Yeah, ya como più on the road cuando va di qua, veramente e continua. Exacto. And yeah, finish just on pointe um, uh, de Nielsen. You go back, front, and now take two counts to get there on the earth. Yeah, you're going to be ready, other side. And down, up, really elastic plié. Good. Back. Right, yeah. Plie on both legs, careful side, you don't go back right away. Yes. Back. And make sure you don't pull the head forward. Uh, yeah, Joe. Like that. All right, so fifth position, you can have arm in second or down, as you will. And it's get, uh, just four, one and two and three, hold four. Change accent out and out. Again, in and in and in and in, out and out and out. Just once more. Ba ba bum, ba ba bum, ba ba bum. Mm. Ba ba bum, ba ba bum, ba ba bum. Plie and up to the knee. Stay, stay. Go to the left, four in, four out, four in, four out, four in, four out, and balance. Yeah? Four counts, please, in, Nikki, and. Cross, 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 and stay. Extend, 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 again. Good. Ba, 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 ba. Crossing fifth, once more. Back, front, back, front, out, and out, and out, and out. Please, up, up, left side, all the way up to the knee. Ba. Keep the accent, keep the accent. Yes, Martin. Up, ba. good. Ba. Ba. Yeah. Free, free the leg. Just, just the leg, just the leg. Yes. To the knee, up to the knee for me now. Don't take all the foot. Ah. Yeah, all right. So, jetez, please, we go like this. Plie one, lift two, hold three, close four, and four, jetez, into fifth. One and two, stay close back, front and back, and front, 
va, and you do the same, three, yeah? Plie one, lift two, three, close four, and four jetés. En croix. Ready? And. Open the back on plié one and two. Plié out. Yeah. Plié out and up. And cross. Yes. Back. Back. Good. Back. that it turns out to the back. Back, back. Yes, good girl. Yeah, but I wanted that, yeah. So plie, extend, that's it. Right, guys. Josh, all the way to fifth, closing. Cross, cross. Okay. And you know what I was going to say? Yeah. Mm. Okay, that would be better. So, pigues, we go front one and two and three and four, side and two and three and four, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, directly back, four piques to the side, four piques to front, brush and brush and brush and left side. So don't finish quite so you have time to turn. Four counts in, please. And. wonderful Nikki Williamson on piano. Um, I'm not sure, but I think this might be a World Ballet Day uh, debut for Nikki. Um, very comfortable playing a range of different styles, classical, jazz, uh, pop music in there. I know a number of dancers enjoy singing along to the tunes that they recognize. Um, and of course, taking class, we have the wonderful Olga Evrinov, who was the original teacher on our very first World Ballet Day. Uh, so fitting and appropriate that she's back and uh, I'm sure she'll have lots of wonderful things to offer the dancers in class today as she always does. And four. You brush leg just 45 front and back and then on the floor into allongé. You do one rond de chambre jeté slowly lowering the leg. Second one goes with one on the floor into brush front, passé, develop back and you reverse. Four on the floor, brushing back, brushing front, plié back, stretch, allongé. Rond de jambe jeté, lower in two counts. Jeté and uh, on the floor and uh, back, yeah? So first one is slow, second one is just in one count, yeah? Ready, please. Preparation. And four on the earth. And prepare. And four and two and three yeah can you be with the music guys front and uh, back and uh, plié allongé and up and lower good up and uh, don't be late second time a uh, brush and so what you know do once it's so far good and then you go boom Yes. And back. Little balance one body. And knee back. Yes. Second. Yeah, Ella. You want to bring the leg on the earth. Yes. And ribs on the bar, careful. So it feels automatic. Turned out. Yeah. Right. 
She said, okay, good. You're right. Yes, all right. Okay, left then, please. And change the hand, be careful. And second because it's a little hot today here yesterday was freezing in this room it was yeah. so we go fondue to the front and two tombe pique you're on demi point stay and stay and finish seven eight front one to the side and two hold the job single and double and three out finishing fifth you reverse fondue to the back Tombe by fifth, pique by fifth. Hold five, hold six, and one fondue to the back. Then one, second, single, double, three out, and you turn around, yeah? I'll help. Fondue to the front to start. Ready, and. Now. Opening back, yeah. and uh, two, tombe down, and pique, stay. Stay fondue to the front. Second, single. Yeah. Back, yes, Olive. Back. Tombe by fifth, good. Up. Stay. And fondue back. Fondue second. Round. And three are around June and left one. Especially all they don't make sure they are around. Lift, yes, good. Round, round, yes, Ella. One, two, well done. Stay. By fifth, need. Not yet. Now. Hold the jambes, Charlotte. Circle, circle, circle. Olive, this olive, yeah, don't sickle your foot. Be careful. Mm. Right. Okay, so we go like this. Double with pointed foot. Okay, I repeat it. Pointed foot into the floor. Lift up. Same to the back and lift. Same to the side and lift and three with little brush. Then double, around, back. Second, four counts, petit battement. We repeat it. Pointed back and up. Pointed down and up. Pointed side and up. And brush and brush and brush. En croix, 
doubles, three, four, chi batte non forward, and then we continue just to the knee, and you're on a holiday, eight slow counts, but chi batte non continues, and then you balance. You can balance here, you can balance in attitude, as you wish, yeah? Ready, please? Double front and lift. Double back with pointed foot. And. Ta, ta, ta. Pa, ta, ta, ta. Pa. And second. I think what I love about Olga coming back is that, as we said, you know, she did World Ballet Day 10 years ago. And she knows the company so well. So uh, she's seen everyone perform on stage. You know, she can, she can really offer you know, pinpointed corrections and, and direction to people, um, which is really wonderful when a teacher's been here, you know, lots over the years. And, you know, she doesn't miss anything. She's very honest, which is wonderful, which we all, we all love. <laughs> Balance. Balance. Enough, 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 enough. Yeah, from this, when you go to attitude, still grow into the attitude. Don't start collapsing down. All right, left side, and. Beat, beat, point. Pa. Beat, beat, good. Pa. 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 That's better. One, two. Yes, good guys. Pa. Opening to the side, careful. For me, no, not this way. Just up to the knee, all the way. You know what I'm going to say? Beating, opening leg to the side, to the side, right. Okay, so adagio from fifth position. Develop it to the front with arm up and finish just point and then plie. You lift front, carry second and fifth. Slowly, develop into écarté, double rond de jambe, big fifth and wait. Start to the back, four counts, pointe, plié down, second, change legs, and then on the reverse, you do just penché. So I repeat it, front, pointe, plié, quarter, fifth, into écarté, back. Développer, pointer, plier, second, switch legs, and pencher, stretch, yeah? All right. So, adagio, please, Nikki. And. And. And one, and uh, two, and. Uh, not too far back, Liam, arm. Plier, and lift leg front. Open two sides, just second, just second. Fifth, now you go to écarté, Ella. Développé, and up, not too slow. Rond de chambre, double, and stretch close and wait in fifth. Développé, back. Through attitude, remember, pointé down, plié arabesque, turn out, and second, good. Ends of the toes, my, and other leg arabesque. Penché, down. And supporting knee very pulled up, careful. Yes, you're right. Other side, and down. One, and two, and up. Good, yes, and down. Now, that's it, you come underneath yourself. Fifth, développé, and two, and Right, hold the jambe, whoop, and up close fifth, and enough. Just rest.
very good. All right, wait. Uh, in a valse with accent down. All right, Nick. So, arm is up and we go grand battement, point and fifth again. Point and fifth. And just three to the side, prepare. You might have to turn, you know what I mean? So you go this way, ta, ti, ta, so you're not kicking each other. And then face to the front, yeah, and back. One, two, and three in fifth. To the side is just three grand battements to fifth position, yeah? Pointe to the front, pointe to the front, and three to the side. Four bars into it, please, and. Fast movement, up and up, up and up. James, you're absolutely behind the music. Just to the side, Estas. Well, we hope you're enjoying uh, class so far. If you are, please make sure you send in uh, any comments or questions you may have, and we'll answer some at the end when we've got some time. Getting behind the music. All right, the relevé thing, please. Yeah, so it's very high, but it gets behind the music. so you don't put your weight onto that gear. It doesn't really stop. Right. I think you have to take the bars away probably that way. Yeah. You're in class with the Royal Ballet, and whilst we prepare for our centre practice, let's take a look at what's still to come.
tell me when for, so we can start. Is it, is it when? Is it when? Okay. All right. So, so you start quasi and then turn right away the corner. Develop a four counts just into a carte and close fifth. Left leg up to the knee, just passe up and lend to fourth and you bend sideways and open up. Brush through, leg goes up with the arms and you slowly promenade fuete to first arabesque and you continue, you continue, you continue, stretch out and finish down. And uh, yes, so there is that and uh, if you can help us, Nikki. Ecarte, four counts, passe, fourth position, croise, you go under and then lift. Brush through, fouet slowly as a promenade and immediately continue in first arabesque, but you finish with high arabesque, head has changed and you brush through and you're on the floor. The last is really on the floor, you don't have to lift the leg up. Okay, here we go. So four bars. Mm -hmm. And right leg écarté. And men, please, can you do this for me? And one. Girls, fine. And up, good. Fifth. Left leg up, passé. And lend. And under. Open. Brushing through. And go arabesque to the back corner, to the back corner, and then you continue, and uh, lift and go through. It stays in arabesque, Charlotte, one, and two, and up. Good, yes. Lift up, face front, fourth, and up, over, and open. Brush through. Now come underneath, good to the back corner, all in one movement, and up, and uh, arabesque, arabesque. Yeah. Just as you go from first arabesque, you only change the line of arms and the head. So don't, you, there's no uh, attitude anymore there, yeah? Okay, second group, do you know what you're doing? Start with écarté. Ready, please. Come forward. It's very many people, so come forward, please. And thank you. And écarté. And two. And stretch. Fifth position. And up. Face front. Lend and go up and over. Yes, but up. Body goes up into the bend. To the back corner, all the way to Nikki. And continue. Yes, 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 yes. Reach good. And through and down. Mm, that was funny. Careful on the closing, guys. Up and over. Open, go, brush. Now, à la seconde, very turned out, back. Small, 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 small movements, arabesque, arabesque. Through, and yeah. All right, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, because you're in plié, just a, a little note, be aware that you have to still lengthen the body, that it doesn't just go over. Yeah, there is an up. Even if you're in a plié, still you lengthen before you close. All right, never mind. So fifth position, fifth position, croisé, and we go like this to the front, one and two and three, quarter turn, and one and two, tombe pas de bourrée, back, one and two, and three, left foot, turn, en dedans, we're ready, other side, head stays open, and three, to do do doom, and one, and two, left arm, pas de bourré, looking over the arm three times, and prepare, so it's a quick, you don't have to go up to the knee, just by coup de pied and back there, and turn en dedans. 
possibly a hair slower than that. Nikki, yeah? So first lot, ready? Quasi three times, and. Position. So you can see now we've moved from bar work into centre, um, but you'll recognise the steps. Um, we're on tondus here and we're going into pirouettes as well, um, all without the aid of the bar, obviously. Um, you know, the thing that is sometimes easy to fall into a bit of a trap when you're doing the bar is to use it a little too much. And then you get into the centre and you go, oh gosh, um, I do that, certainly. Um, but, uh, you know, the the... the, the the basics of classes that you're just trying to build. It's a stepping stone. Each um, part of class is a gradual um, sort of evolution to get up to, to performance yeah. steps, right? It just right? makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, you watch these incredible artists and athletes and they're doing incredible things with their bodies, but to get there, it is it does make sense, the progression in class to... It's, it you know, starts to help. with those yeah. positions, yeah. you know, first, second, third, uh, plies, tendus. Uh, if you do them well, you're halfway there. Open at first, yes. Both times head open on it. And again, again. Yes. Right. Yeah. Just be be aware, careful that you don't squeeze the side that uh, of the lifted leg. You have to put uh, just as you go up. Make sure there's a moment you put your weight two sides on over supporting. Yeah. Right, right. Luke, uh, it, it was it was you. Huh? C'était toi comme ça. Mm. All right. In three, please, and we go like this. Fifth position to start. Pirouette en dehors from fifth. Finish back and stay. Détourné, sorry, to the front. Fondu, croisé front. Fondu, and this is second one is like a little fan out tombé. Pas de bourré. Prepare fourth position, pirouette en dehors, and finish one arm up, and you go left. Demi plié one, and two, and three. Détourné. So from here you send this leg right away to the corner. Fondu, croisé low, and second one is higher. Tombé, pas de bourré. Transfer weight forward and pirouette en dehors. Are we clear? Plié. Pirouette en dehors, détourné. Fondu, croisé, fondu, tombé, pas de bourré. Forward, yeah. Here we go. Four bars before, please. And. And uh, go, and uh, two, and uh, stay, and uh, position, and one. We love hearing from you and we've been getting some great messages and questions. I've got a little tweet here from Jen. She says, I've been taking adult ballet classes for about seven years and I would probably only last about one combination in this group of these amazing dancers. Um, we've got another from Nikki St. Olga and fabulous Miss Nikki on the keys. Another one from Elsa Lynn Owen. It, it's Olga, wonderful, and she's saying good evening from the Philippines. Love that. <laughs> yeah. Olga's, Olga's very popular, isn't she? She's it? very good. popular. Um, and then another hello from sunny Queensland in Australia, saying loving the attention to detail and watching all your hard work. Especially on the left side, it was visible. Right after you've done the detourné, you go here. No, you have to think of lifting a little bit. The le yes, so you are uh, you're more on balance, and the second one as well. So it's not down there, please. Yeah, exact. So second lot, spread out as much as possible. Come forward, us and. And go. Don't cheat, Hannah. I was cheating. And one. Yes. Good. Yes. Exact. Good. Tombe. Parfait. And back. And up. Right. Un sorrisino. Come on. Yeah. More around your center. 
not there. Uh, uh, this is good when arms up. Here, same thing. And one. Careful where it is. Coup de pied. Coup de pied. Good. And one. And stretch. Yeah, there's one thing I do not like, and it's this. If you can always stretch and lengthen the arms and not lift them so high. Okay, in two and smaller groups, yeah? So we'll go like this. Pointe front, fouette sharp on the floor, coupe and step pique arabesque. You have left arm here and right open, and go. Tombe, pas de bouée, fifth and arm up and nose up. Tombe, pas de bouée, fourth. Pirouette, en dehors, fourth position. Change only arms. And en dedans, to other side. You go left. Pointe one, fouette two, and stay. And da da, da ti, ta ta, and up, pa, pa. Pirouette, four counts en dehors, four counts en dedans, and it is one way, other way. There is no détourné, okay? So four counts into it, right leg, pointe front, pointe back, and stay. And go, yeah? The first tombe pas de way goes into the same direction where you were, and then you go change direction. Four counts, and. One, and two, and stay. On, back, go inwards, fifth other side, and one, sharp, and stay, and go. Now look up, up, thank you, up, directly other group, back, back, one, and foot, yes, and up, back, back, yes, right, Try not to start late, my. One and fuete. Yeah, elbow a little more forward, um, Maddy, so not back. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. Just a little Maddy, that way, not this way. Yes, that's it. You always. Yeah, and here, and it's so the whole line works because it doesn't work that way. Yes, good, Lucas. Hop. Only that one is knee uh, on the hop. And the arm. Go same arm as where you go. Yeah. Okay, next lot. Harris, just be careful that you don't do that. When you finish en dehors, stay on the leg. Yes, because maybe you go a little too wide. Just a tiny bit less. Tiny, tiny bit less. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're so far, you have to pump into it, you know. Yes. Yeah. Sierra. Finish, yeah. Have a sense of it. It's a movement, but it stretches. Yes, good too. Yeah. Bella, pique forward. Right away, me out, Hannah. Yeah, back. Good, yeah. Stas, just a little bit too far. Not here, not there, above. Yeah. Ba, yes, good. And one, and pa. Stay. Ha, ba, ba. Good. At our my and go. Yeah. Ba. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hannah, you had too much force than more force than control. Just, yeah, kind of use 
your muscles into it. Good, better, yeah. So you... More sharp. Don't be stingy, Casper. You want too much. No. Pa, pa. Sharp. Foot. One more. That's it. Yes, Michael. Good. <coughs> Is this last lot by chance? One more. Yeah, and articulate your feet. Don't be pas de It has to be clean. One day, on the hop, stay, stay, and go. Fifth, and go. Yes, good, good, Molly. Good girl, and one. That was too far, Letty. This is last group, hello. Sorry. Yeah. Forward, not underneath you. Yeah, Nikki, after this, they do left and you stop. And one, and ba. No more. After this, ba, ba, and ba. Trop large les bras. Jamais là, jamais, jamais, jamais. Okay. No, 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 no. So we go like this. Plié, relevé, développé, écarté, and valse. Piqué, attitude, and stay. Pas de basque, piqué, attitude, fourth position, relevé, arabesque, and through. Renversé, pas de bourré, without an extra plié. Go renversé, pas de bourré. Step into pointé fourth position, and turn in attitude, pli arabesque to finish. Okay? I repeat. And uh, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, four, and uh, five, and six, arabesque preparation, and uh, one, two, step forward, simply because there is no room. Four, and turn, yeah? So you finish pas de bourré into step pointe rather than fifth point. Yeah, just to move forward. Do you know what you're doing? Once more. You're good. Okay, four bars in. Ready, please. Rum pa rum pa. Yeah, and down and up and down. go and pique. Arabesque and uh, through and uh, one babouré step up uh. next lot hop plié stay yeah and uh, one and uh, bounce hop ba uh, uh. show the attitude that's it hop ba uh, uh. and uh, one today is what we call a general class so it's from all ranks uh, across the company 
and as you can see we're quite full in the claw another class will be going on in another studio but I think it's it's really lovely and I think there's a generous spirit in classes like this because you have more experienced dancers with lots you know lots of faces here today are, are new joiners to the company and I think it's just a lovely moment to all be dancing in the same space together all doing the same steps and I think it's really helpful to transfer that onto stage so that when you're performing and you're looking across the space whatever rank you are you have that familiarity and comfortable with each other um, and I think you know there's that element to it as I watch <laughs> no absolutely um, I think it, it, it's sometimes not um, known that principal dancers tend to rehearse on their own a lot um, and it's very easy to feel somewhat isolated and not feel part of the company in some way so class is a great way for um, everyone um, to sort of be on a level and um, you're right, I remember being a student and being in class with people like Carlos Acosta, Johan Kolborg, and just thinking, oh my gosh, that's it's how they do so that? so inspiring, it isn't it? Completely. I remember joining, it was like Darcy and Sylvie and thinking, gosh, this is amazing, but you're part of the same company and there's something really wonderful about it. Yes, but finish, but finish, um, 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 Martin. Yeah. So we start like this, and it's the boule men jump two and three and four. Finish into plié arabesque on five and six and just pas de bourrée seven and eight. One tendu, one grand battement. One tendu, one grand battement. One tendu, one grand battement. Prepare seven and eight and one, two, three, four. Plié arabesque. Hold. Pas de bourrée. One tendu, one grand battement. One dégagé on the floor and then to the air and step next floor. Yeah? Not fast, really. One da 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 da. Ba, 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 boom. Ready? Four counts and. Ba, ba, and go. And hop. Two, three, and four. Please stay, stay. Ba, bouche. And hop, ba. Back, side, other side, hop, stay, and down, up, good, feet, 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 head, 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 but, 
back. Pop, back, good girl. And back. And pop. Next slot. Go. And good. Head, 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 head. Back. And really plie, help yourself with plie. Together, please, one demi plie, one relevé. Da -di -da -dum. One time, it's only four times. Yeah, okay, here we go. So find a spot if you can. And, and open the back. Even more control on the way down. And you hear your song, yes. Okay, we do four sautés in first position, four changements de pied. And again, four in first, four changements, okay? Ready, please. Let's go all together, so step, step forward. Ready, please. And... Feet, Don't kick sideways the legs. Um, uh, Harry's careful. And good. if you do. Yeah, but fifth position, back heel. Right. Okay, good. So in smaller groups, right foot front, and it's échappé, second and change, second and change, you go front, and you do a pas de basque through. Second and fifth, second and fifth to the croisé, and to croisé other side through pas de basque. Yeah? Simple, exact. Both times it's assembly sliding, so don't kick the leg up. Yeah, one goes directly there and one goes with a pad bust. That's it. So it changes legs. Tu échappé, changé normal. And. Ba, and up, ba, ba, and up, ba, 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 and travel. Good, and one, and two, and up. Good, and up. Don't be late into pas de bus, careful. This is good. Now, on the time, exact. One and two. Up, back and up. Back, 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 back. Uh, um, uh, Beth, on the pas de bus especially, don't delay here. Go. Da. Yes, and hop, exact. And one and two and hop, back. Go, two feet, one and two, hop. Okay, last time. And one and two, and hop, hop. Back, back, good, and one. Okay, so we go like this. Left foot in front for assemblies and we go Assemblée one, si sont développés, pas de bourré, and tendu. Double assemblée and two en chacun. Assemblée si sont, pas de bourré, stretch close. Double assemblée, chacun, chacun. 
You get it? One and two and three and four. Double assemblé, chacun, chacun. Assemblé, si, sol, pas bourré, and go. Mind that on that you stretch this knee all the way. Assemblé, and two on chacun. It, it works, it works, it works. Okay, here we go. Ready? Start me to single assemblé. Left foot in front, left foot in front, other left. And. Pa, pa. One, two, and three, and four. Double. Cap, cap, and one, and two. Ta da da, pa, pa. Ha, pa, pa, and two. Good, and da. One, two. Ta da da, pa, pa. Good, Ella. Yeah. Beat clear for me now. to connect legs in the air. It's a double assemblé. Single, pas de bourré, pas. Double assemblé, yes, right, okay. Yeah, and yes, yes, and on the beat, 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 beat. Yeah, can you be more precise, closing? Développé. Hop. Ah. Yes. Good, Olivia. One, two. Développé. Hop. Ba. Da. That's it. Yes. Ba. Okay. Last time. One. Développé. Hop. Stretch and close. Make sure you close to fifth, guys. And fifth. That's. Almost good. Yeah. Out is good, in is not so good. There. Make sure you close to fifth before the double assembly, right? That would be nicer. Okay. Jetez. We go jete one, jete two, jete three, ballonne, jete en avant towards uh, Andre there, five and six and two brises. Jete, 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 ballonne, jete, pas de bourré, brise, brise. Yes. Mind that after ballonne you really travel forward. Balbure and two brises. Okay, here we go. Three jetés, one ballonne. And. And hop, ba, 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 ba. Forward and go and hop, ba, ba. up, up. Yeah, okay. I would not do this way, but that way. One, two, three, four, five. It works better. Hop. Good. And one, and two, and three, and four, and hop. Jetez forward. That one. Travel over the bridge. Yes. And uh, go. Two, and three. Ba. Yeah. But push yourself up to jete en avant. No ballonnet on the spot, jeté forward. You're cheating, you're cheating. Bend forward. Right, yes, and hop, ba, ba, ba. Close, go. So, we go si sonne fermé, si sonne fermé, si sonne ouverte, pas de bourré. Si sonne fermé, si sonne fermé, si sonne ouverte, pas de bourré. To the side, to the side, to the front, pas de bourré. Ladies, pique, développé, and go, and just run away, men, se plié, or pas de basque, se plié, tout en l'air. Okay? To this way, to this way, side, side, still this way. Come forward, fifth, to en l'air, yeah? I'm just looking at the clock. Ready, and. Two seasons, and one, and two, and three. Ba, ba, 
and go forward. Back. Use use your plié and the side, side and the back. Back. Yeah. Back. Travel, travel, and look. Yes. One and a two and a hop. Careful heels on the floor and a two and hop. Back, back, back. I just, it's the time because we started late. So, preparation, and we go like this. Glissade, cabriole, chassez pas de bourré, jeté into the attitude. So it's a slightly renversé, back and prepare, go this way, and tend the flèche croisée to open. Balancé left and right, and left, men tombé, coupé, jeté, and ladies, chassez pas de bourré, one, and two, and three. I repeat. Glissade cabriole. Jeté to attitude. And stay. Six and a seven and eight and a one. Two, three, four, five. Coupé, jeté, coupé, jeté, sol basque. Yeah? Are we clear? All right, here we go. Ready? We try. And mm -hmm. cross it to open. Glissade cabriole and the go pa pa and stay. Pa 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 hop pa. Go. More than two at a time will never finish. Yeah, Maddie. Here it's cross it to open. Go. Chassé, it works. Ha, 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 ha. Right arm. Ha, ha. Big. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. Large, the third has to be largest. You okay? Yes. Yeah, that chate is a jump, Stas. After, push into the this one. And 
think up, no, just trouble. rather than sitting back. And the other thing is, the third one, there. Yes, you're going there. Exactly. Hop, ba, ba, and da, hop, ba, ba. Yeah. Or bakuri or chasse by the way, but fast from here. Ba, ba, ba. Go, da, 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 that's it. Ha, ba, ba. Straight up, Gabriel, um, 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 Beth. Attack, Matthew, please. Right. Uh, if we can, before they stop us, like this, no turns. That's it. So we can't do the turn. Oh. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, there we have it. A uh, wonderful class there taken by Olga Evrenov and Nikki Williamson on keys. Yeah, I've got some of your comments. We love hearing from you, so keep sending them in. Alison says she just loves Olga's classes. Andrew said that he woke up early in Michigan to watch World Ballet Day. And then I've got a question from Danielle saying, can ballerinas choose their own brand of point shoes? Yes, they can. There's this amazing shoe room downstairs and the lovely Jane has to deal with us all changing shoes, wanting different things. So, yes, they can find what they love and, yeah, continue. Make that choice. <laughs> you make that Big choice. choice. Gosh, yeah. I'm glad I, I have know. to wear point shoes, <laughs> frankly. Um, well, before our next rehearsal starts, uh, we've been joined by the director of the Royal Ballet, Kevin O'Hare. Welcome, Kevin. Hello, welcome. Ten Good years morning. of World Ballet Day. Amazing. Um, why do we still do it? Yeah, well, we do it, I think, because it's just got this amazing connection with our audiences around the world, but also with the companies around the world. And it really feels like this moment when we can all celebrate dance and what dance can be in all its different forms. And I just love it. We've got to do it. We love it too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, we're going to talk a little bit later about the um, sort of the physical training that we do, not just in the studio, but outside of the studio. Um, and I wondered if if you might be able to give us a bit of insight to to why that's so important for you as a director uh, to focus on that stuff, how much you focused on that, and how it's changed in your time here. Yeah, I mean, I've always wanted. Um, that the dancers in the company feel that they're um, given as much information to have the longest and healthiest career they can possibly have. And we've, we've learned so much over the last 
certainly 10 years, you know, with the, the advent of, of sports science and what we do with the Pilates and gyrotonics and psychology and well-being and nutrition. And so bringing all those things together and bringing a team that really works well together. And we have this brilliant team downstairs on the fifth floor. And it, it's all focused towards making uh, the dancers' journey through their career as healthy and as safe as possible. Right. And Kevin, today, what can audiences look forward to seeing? Well, again, it's always a snapshot. Of course, you've seen the, 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 the highlight for some people is the ballet class. But it's amazing. We're going to see little excerpts from the cellist, which is being performed right at this very moment. So it's on tonight and it's on tomorrow night, the last two performances, mm -hmm. the wonderful ballet by Kathy Marston. A Dante Project comes back, which premiered two years ago with amazing success. Wayne's incredible vision of this epic story coming to life with amazing music by uh, Thomas Addis and designs by Tessa Tadine. So it's a really, it's one of those that only an opera house and a ballet company like ours could really perform. And so it's really exciting to bring it back to the stage. Well, thank you, Kevin. We can't wait to see it. And we can't wait to see you later on. I think you're back with us a yes, little I bit, but so. thank you for I'm now. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be the same without you. We always want you to take part. And this year, That's right. It is, it? Is, it is tradition. We do want you to be involved. And this year, principals Matthew Ball and Mayara Magri have a special challenge for you. My name is Matthew Ball. And I'm Mayara Magri. We're both principal dancers with the Royal Ballet. Today, we've got a challenge for you for this World Ballet Day. It's for you to try and keep up with the music from this really iconic and exciting moment in Don Quixote Pas de Deux. We're going to be doing pirouettes. So pirouettes from one leg, one turn, and you go around once and down. What um, we're going to be demonstrating is a little bit more quick than this. But the important thing for you at home is just to try and keep with the music, stay safe, but make it as exciting as possible. It's all about rhythm. All right, that's all from us. Now we're really looking forward to seeing your version. And don't forget to keep up with the rhythm. That's what's exciting about it. And also, don't forget to tag at Royal Opera House. Hashtag World Ballet Day. So whether it's on TikTok or Instagram, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want you to get involved. We'd love to see you have a crack at it. So make sure you share yours using the hashtag World Ballet Day. And if you do it before 2 p.m., uh, we'll have a chance to show the best ones at half past three, 3.30. Uh, do keep sending in any questions or comments you may have. Uh, we'll try and answer them throughout the day. But for now, we're going to get into our first rehearsal. And I'm joined by Principals Fumi Kanika and William Bracewell. Uh, welcome to you both. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we're going to be seeing a rehearsal from the Dante Project. Uh, very much looking forward to seeing it back on stage. Um, in these roles that you're doing now, are they new to you both or are you revisiting these roles? Fumi, let's start with you. Um, for me, uh, second time second time I'm involved. Last time I had the honour to create uh, Satan, which is a devil. And then for first, uh, second cast, I did this uh, the role I'm going to dance now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's two completely different uh, characters and I enjoyed very much to uh, dance different roles. A different roles. Yes. Wonderful. And, and Will, what about you? Uh, so everything is brand new for me this time. Uh, it was originally, this role was created for Edward Watson. Um, but I was part of the second movement, Purgatory, and the third movement, Paradise. So I, 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 I do understand the, the, the story that we're trying to tell, but all of the choreography and steps are brand new. And did you have any idea that you might be doing this role a couple of years later? So when you saw it, did you think, oh, you know, this is the thing that I'd like to do it myself or? Um, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, so many of Ed's roles are iconic and really things that I, uh, I, I love to perform myself. Um, having said that, I think it was created for him for his retirement. So when we were performing it last time, it wasn't something that I think I'd get the chance to do 
so soon, but actually um, I think I'll kind of be coming at it from quite a different place to Ed, which, I, which is nice, and I, I do think the choreography um, and Wayne's way allows for that. Mm. Oh, well, looking forward to seeing it. And Fumi, what's it like being in the room and creating something versus, say, coming into a role that's already established, working with someone like Wayne? What, what's that like as an experience for you? Um, for me, every time when I'm in the studio with him, Wayne, um, it's just um, his every movement or what he speaks, it surprised me, amazed me. So every single details I try to intake and digest, to try to uh, bring onto stage, but it's uh, always ins inspiration and fun to uh, work with him. Yes. Well, we'll look forward to seeing it in rehearsal now. Um, I think we should just get on with it. Um, William and Fumi will be rehearsing the roles of Dante and Beatrice in the second part of Wayne McGregor's The Dante Project, Purgatorio Love. Uh, they'll be rehearsed by Jenny Tattersall, along with Jessica Wright, who's also staging the ballet, and they'll be accompanied by Thomas Ang on piano. Let's go. Good. Hi. Are, you, are your leg warmers going to fall off? Or are we no, good? I'm going to take them off good. so they don't fall off. Good. All right, guys. I think we should go from where we did a minute ago. We'll, we'll take it from the edge of the, the end of the other duet. Peel into this, and we'll just do it in little sections to see and stop and do some notes. So, Thomas, can we go from where we did a second ago? Great. Super. <laughs> You're lovely and rest, 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 rest. Very nice, very nice. Ah, straight in. Good. When you come back, head a little bit higher in the studio so we have a little bit more distance forwards. Um, it's really nice when you're looking out. Give me more of a sense when you when she first touches you of feeling her, feeling that connection for the first time. This little bit late on this. Try and be in this already on the one. So we have just go from the touch of the five, six. So we have five, six, bay, 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 four. Five, six, bay, one, bay. And that's the lowest point, Will. So if you can be a little bit lower on this, stay down, and then come forwards a little bit further before you go around the corner, and then we want to travel on this one. So it moves out into space before the unroll. Yep. Then, I think it's him as well. I think if he goes a bit lower in the legs, I get a low position before it comes forward directionally. This was nice, this was nice, this was nice. Just travel a little bit more. The, unra the, yeah, the unravel's lovely. Just be careful of the putting down. She's a little bit off her legs when she comes down into that. Let's try from, let's try from the first one coming forwards. So this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Let's go without the music, just from the first. Ba ba boom, ba ba ba. Really nice, really nice, really nice. Fold around and in, ba ba low and forward. Ba 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 round, ba 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 wa. Open lift, easy, easy. Now steady down, ba. Lovely, and you can be just after. So Fumi goes here, you wait, and then you can come just after here. Ba ba boom, ba ba. Fumi, try and get your legs a bit tighter together on this lift. So it's a bit more in a parallel. Yeah. This was nice. As much as you can travel, be lovely. Ba 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 ba. This was nice. This was nice. This was nice. Give me a second longer at the end of the swim before you roll out. It it changed a little bit too soon, and you have time for this. 
because you're waiting here a bit too long anyway. So you have time to do that lift before you come down here. Yeah, right. let's just try that from the lift back. Bay, bay, ba, 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 boom, bay, ba, ba, swim and reach, fold. Nice, 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 nice. Squeeze and bay. Good, good. Let's take it from there. Thomas, can we go just before the um, chasse sides? Can we take it six before? Uh, no, the, you know the chasse sides? Just six before that. Thank you. This is six into this. Lovely, 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 lovely. Nice, 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 nice. Good. This was good. This is nice. This is nice. Can you feel? Can you go a little bit later? So from this, we need to feel like Fumi's leading you. So you let her start the chasse and just go just after. Beha, beha. This was nice. A little bit higher if you can with the arms, Fumi, on the on the little flick flick. This was good. The second time was better. Now it's better for this plie round. This was nice. Boom, be, ba, 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 ba. This was good. This was good. Um, uh, have a second in the arabesque, just a second. Shiver before this. Uh, let's try that. Baha, be wa boom, be go wa boom. That's it. Lovely. So, well, you just want to catch the end of the shiver is the going backwards into this. Baha, yeah, exactly. So that's good. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. End of that into this. Good. Let's try that again from here. Can we go from the same place, please? Six in. Easy, bay, bay, nice. Bay, bay, bay. Easy, you've got time, you've got time. Very lovely. Wow, now we're winding up. Good, really nice. Uh, this, give it a second here. Just, you know, at the, before, that, before the hard promenade, just give her a second to get on. The, the next thing will happen much faster and smoother if you just take the second to get on balance before you go underneath. Yeah? Really nice. This was all lovely. This was really nice. Uh, you can make more of that arm. You know, when she comes around into this, just make a little bit more of that fold before you do the leg and the push. So follow it through. This was nice. This was lovely. Bay ha ha. This. So Fumi, remember that that it's not the sense of I need to get a proper drive from you, taking him somewhere. So in the moment where you've done this like passe passe and you have the arm here, instead of coming back to him, go to where you're going up to that top corner because that's where we're heading. Yeah, exactly. Good. This was nice. This was nice. I would cut. Uh, you can be. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about earlier. After the one going back, you know, when she does the passe passe here, she's a little bit back to you, and I want her to be looking where she's taking you to the corner. So it's fine that you're in her. This was nice. This was nice. This was nice. Um, I think I, I, I would suggest you meet a little bit earlier. 
because we're getting a little bit late for over here. So especially if it's this tempo, which you know it probably will be, take a wider run around because I, again, I want you to not be waiting for her here. So you cut your run, so a little bit tighter run. You take a slightly bigger run, so you're just turning round at the point she's coming in. I we should. I'm waiting for you, so maybe I can just go. Start. Yeah. So hold on, let's. So let's go from here. So you're already here, and this is the one, two, three, bay, bay. Babe, uh, that's it. Yeah, I think, I think you can take a little bit longer, Fumi, a little bit wider, because it's nice to get the diagonal. Um, just a little bit off-centre this way, yeah. Um, do you want to try this? Because it's got a little, <laughs> we've got a little dip in there now. <laughs> it's like a little fairground ride. Try that one, try that one once. Just from the run. Air uh, without, because I'm going to carry on with a few notes and then we'll go back. Ba, bay, two, three, bay, 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 da, bay. Beautiful, down, way. She needs to come down sooner. So almost, you want to think almost at the top back corner, she's coming down to the floor. This will be good. Bay, how this is lovely. Can you give me, uh, again, it's the sense that every movement you're leading. So we're not you're not anticipating the movement. So from here, you can help by folding to the left a little bit with your head, just as you go into this, so it looks like you're leading the spiral round. Yeah. This was lovely. This is really nice, really nice, really nice, really nice. Um, this was good, this was good, this was good. And that's where we got to, right? So you know the big... The big run around. Let's take it from six into that. So can we pick it up from here? Ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da. Thank you. very lovely we can take down the tempo at the end just a little bit good good nice that's pushed good it's nice good take a breath hmm this was good this was better I think you have to manage the force going into that turn you know the swing lift if it gets too much force we have a big drop and a little roller coaster moment. So if we can manage the force, it's nice that the run's fast, it has to be, but just when you go in, just take out the force a little bit and that will help for this. They're coming out, it's nice. This was lovely with the fold into the left, really nice. It's lovely when you're just pushing the music for this. If you can take her off backwards a little bit instead of round, so it feels like she's falling. Yeah, exactly, this is nice. This was good, this, 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 you're going to catch her. Sorry. So it looks a little bit like we're reaching into space. So you don't have to be on the music. She goes and you're trying to reach her and she disappears. She goes, you're trying, yeah, exactly, very nice. So it's less, it's less on the music and more <laughs> meaning. Uh, this was nice, this was nice, you're pushed here, so it's fine that you are a little bit, you're a little bit late in the music, it's fine. Well, don't go directly up stage. So as you do this, it almost wants to be falling into space so that you can, f you can be almost on top of her for this. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense yeah. uh, movement-wise. Yeah. It's the same thing you're going to grab her, and she disappears. This is just after the music. This was fine, Shani, Shani, Shani. This, just be a little bit clearer when you start. 
So after you come back in, for the, uh, which one do you do? You do underneath, don't you? So can you give me a second, both, both reconnecting? After we've gone out and we come back, I get a second looking at each other before we go beha, beha, beha. Great, lovely. This is nice, 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 this is nice. It's a flex fit, remember. Bay from act two, lovely. Beha. This, this, pull out, and you don't need to go close. Keep the distance and just do it from the distance here so she can step into you after. Bay, wa, boom, way, ha, ha, boom, bay. This was lovely. Pull, 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 pull. Try and get, yeah, try and get the line of that left hand arcing around. Bay, ba, ba, ba. This was nice, this was nice. This was nice. Here, Fumi, again, it's the same thing. You're going to that top corner. So it's something about the right hand trying to reach over. Whoa, boom, bay. Can it, um, in that lift, if anything, we'd love the direction a bit more this way than that way. Because we're, yeah. is that, yeah, it's the same place. It's where paradise is. Way beautiful, ha. Huh? From a try, uh, if you can keep this a little bit more rounded, there we go, beautiful. Ha, boom, way, ha, boom, hey, ha. Will, try and use the end of the drop. Don't drop, but <laughs> after this one, when you come out, the end of this is this. So it's as, and you can help him a little bit more by turning him, so it, you almost initiate this turn for him. Let's try that. So we go, way, hey, ba, way. There we go. Way, ba, boom, hey. And then you might have to take a few steps in. <laughs> I think, I think she can help turn you, yeah. so it's very <laughs> circular. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. This you just have to get on with. If you're just after the beat, it won't matter yeah. uh, if it's driving like that. Can you just do the preparation? I think, I think when you go into this, um, the very last skating turn, if you can lead a little bit more with your head to the left, it will look like you're initiating it. Bay, boom, bay, way, boom, way, ba, boom, bay, ba, 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 boom. If that's coordinated, that's great. I just do one when you do the bend. Yeah, you just did one. We were just pushed. Is it just that much? Just that much. Just that much. Yeah. Just that much. This is great. This is great. Really nice. I love the fall into the space here. Just watch your arms for me. They're a bit lost. The first one's nice, the coming back one, and then when it comes to the slide, fix them somewhere so they're not still up. Yeah, exactly, this is fine. This way, and this way, and then the very last thing with the reach. Good, all of that, please. Yep. Let's try it once, nice and easy. We're gonna take the tempo just down just a little bit at the end. From the big run around, you can just take it down a little bit. Good, start a little bit further back. No, I'm going from the beginning. Yeah, thank you, from the top. Sorry, Thomas, from the beginning, all the way back from the beginning, yeah, from that big music, thank you.
blackout. Good, really nice. Lovely guys. Lovely, lovely, that lovely. That was thank so you gorgeous. Comments. I'm thank sorry, you. we could watch it all day, but that's all we've got time for. Thank you for that gorgeous rehearsal. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Now, you're watching World Ballet Day live from the Royal Opera House, home to the Royal Ballet. Now, one of the amazing things about World Ballet Day is that it shows how connected we are with companies and countries all over the world. And a little while ago, our director, Kevin O'Hare, met with the Australian ballet director, David Halberg. Now, we know David well as he was a guest principal with us for many years. Um, so even that connection's so lovely. Uh, the first half of this conversation has already been shown, so you can catch up on that later. But we're going to see uh, Kevin and David David chat about the challenges of being a company director and how they want to keep this art form moving forward. Kevin, I'm two and a half years in <laughs> to being an artistic director. You're how many years in? Gosh, this is my 12th year, my 12th season. Congratulations, Thank you. you've survived. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I remember you telling me when I um, got the position how challenging it is, but how rewarding it is. Two and a half years in, any advice for me? <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep, yeah, you're doing good, you're doing good. And I think I, it is, you know, you've had experience, you know, obviously huge experience as a dancer and what, what was wonderful as a dancer that you, you did work with different companies, not just guesting, but really worked with them in, for a good amount of time. And so you got to know the inner workings of different companies. And I think that to have that broad view is really important try not to be too insular yeah and I think that's what you've had and that's what you've been able to bring to Australia I think you know yeah I think you know Australia because we are so geographically far away mm -hmm. you have to stay connected mm -hmm. you know you really have to travel and mm -hmm. see work mm -hmm. um, live not mm -hmm. just on video and I think fitting that in in the job isn't it with with obviously doing uh, being around rehearsals being in the studio also seeing the performances and then balancing that with all the other sort of more administrative side of, of, of the job, which is also thinking about the finances, thinking about uh, sponsorship, where we might go on tour, all of those things, all those building blocks. And it's just finding a way to divide your time, isn't it? I wasn't sure when I first took over the, the job how, how I would deal with the performances every night, you know, because we have a lot of performances yeah. in the company. Yeah, it's true. I think, you know, one thing that one can't forget when you're a former dancer mm -hmm. is what what the performance does you know mm -hmm. how the nerves you go through mm -hmm. the pressure you put on yourself as a dancer mm -hmm. um the elation or disappointment maybe you have mm -hmm. after a performance yeah. and i think as a director it's really important to be there mm -hmm. supporting that mm -hmm. i will say for me the planning the finances mm -hmm. Um, I didn't have any experience previously mm -hmm. and to, you know, learn the, the, the ins and outs mm -hmm. of the administrative side, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that was the biggest learning curve yeah. for me. Yeah. Looking forward to the future, I think a lot of us are thinking, feeling the same way. You know, the world has changed a lot. We, we have ideas about what we want a ballet company to be, how, how it is to be a member of a company, and also about the stories we tell and how we tell them. And I think, for me, that would be really exciting to see in, 20, in another 10 years uh, what we're doing on stage, how we're telling those stories, what the makeup of the companies are. are. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I'll be excited if I'm that, you know, retired old man, you know, to come back and see what's Tuning going on. Tuning in on World Ballet. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, I agree with you. I think, you know, the way we tell stories has drastically changed even now. Mm -hmm. I think we're telling, in my opinion, much more relevant stories of today's time. Companies look much more um, diverse and, and relevant of today's time. Mm -hmm. That whole landscape is changing in ballet and very warmly welcomed, I think. I look at the dancers today and I am just amazed by what they can do uh, technically and, you know, and, and also the, stylistically as well, the different styles that they take on. Do you think that's just going to continue from strength to strength, really? I think it will continue. I think there's no stopping it. Mm -hmm. um, again, like 20 years ago when I joined American Valley Theatre, uh, technique has evolved so much, mm -hmm. as you've said, but I think we can't shy away from the fact that dancers will try to do more, mm -hmm. but there's no denying um, the fact that the art has to be um, 
as well preserved. And the interpretation on stage is so important. And there's no, I think, better company than how the Royal Ballet performs story work on stage. And yes, the turns can get more, the jumps can get higher, but I think why audiences are moved is through the storytelling on stage and how artists really express themselves. Yes, it is, it, it is in the end, that's what you want people to come here and be moved, whether it's see the Australian Ballet in Australia, Royal Ballet here, San Francisco Ballet. You, you want them to come in and feel they're having this experience that they can have nowhere else. Yeah, absolutely, well said. Well, great to see Kevin and David there. Uh, such a lovely shared history between the companies. And you can see the first half of that uh, video over on the Australian Ballet stream. Yeah, it's great to hear them talk about ballet evolving. You know, it must, but it's also important to preserve the classical art form. Yes, absolutely. Um, and a huge part of our training that allows us to keep advancing and one that you don't see so much of is done in the gym and specifically in our very own healthcare suite here at the Royal Opera House. And to talk a little bit more about that, we've been joined by Shane Kelly, the clinical director here. Welcome, Shane. Thank you. Thanks for having me along. Um, maybe let's just start with you telling us a little bit about what your job is and what it entails. Sure. Thanks, Alex. Um, yeah, so my job is clinical director uh, here at Ballet, the, the Royal Ballet, uh, director of, of Ballet Healthcare. Um, Ballet Healthcare is a department that's been in place for about 10 years now, um, situated level five of the Royal Opera House building in the Monica Mason suite there. Um, my job is to really coordinate the services of the healthcare department that, that, that are there to support the dancers on a daily basis. So the sort of services we offer are, are sport, like sports medicine or dance medicine services, dance science services. Um, and our main objectives really are to try and help the dancers on a daily basis be able to perform to their optimum. So that's what we're really there about. We're there to maintain high availability for the company and for Kevin. Uh, keep dancers on stage as long as possible and of course inevitably if there is an injury we're there to rehabilitate them as well um, but we do it a, a lot more than that um, in terms of our science offering and, and also in the mental health area as well yeah and so it must be quite a team um, I've got a question here how big is the team so like yeah. can you tell us exactly <laughs> how many people you have in there but also um, for me I was interested um, when you're employing people when you're getting them in uh, do they have to have a dance background? Is that something that you know we look for? Yeah, um, great questions. Uh, yeah, I can tell you exactly how big the team is, Alex. Um, right. I have, <laughs> we have 14 members of the team here at Ballet Healthcare, which is a fairly large team. You know, I think compared to some other ballet companies in the world, we do fairly well. But we also have a, a large company to look after as well, over 100 dancers. Uh, in terms of the team that we have, it's a, what we call a multidisciplinary team. So we try and uh, cover off as many of the sort of allied health professions as possible. Um, to give a holistic management of the dancer. So we have physiotherapy on offer, we have soft tissue therapy, we have strength and conditioning, we have a ballet rehab coach, we have Pilates, gyrotonic, uh, nutrition, psychology, uh, sports medicine. So we, we have all those uh, specialties and practitioners uh, working with us on a weekly basis, which is, is a really great thing to have. And you know, we try and emulate the services of, say, a professional sporting club or, a, or an elite sports organization where you know, health is paramount to, to those people's performance and it shouldn't be any different to, to a, a professional ballet company such as the Royal Ballet. Um, so so in, in trying to emulate that, we, we, we have a, a range of practitioners from a variety of backgrounds. I think it's about 50-50 actually, where we have maybe 50% of the uh, current department are from a dance background, uh, particularly ballet. Um, but we also have a, a, a variety of staff from a sporting background as well. Me personally, I came from the sport of track and field, I came from the Olympic side of things. And so we find that blend of, of sport and, 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 and dance and ballet being really beneficial to the services we can offer for the dancers. And can you talk us through some of the facilities that are in the healthcare suite that allows all those amazing people to offer yeah. uh, those services? So each of those practitioners needs somewhere to work mm -hmm. from. Uh, obviously the physiotherapists need a, a physiotherapy clinic. Um, so we have a physio clinic. That's probably the busiest area of the whole Monica Mason <laughs> suite. Um, you know, busy start to finish. Uh, then we have our, our gym. So the gym is a performance gym where we're looking at performance enhancement for the dancers as well as rehabilitation. So we do our, all, a lot of our rehabilitation out of the gym space. So that's where our strength and conditioning uh, practitioners work out of. We obviously have a Pilates and gyrotonic studio. 
We have the terrace, which is an amazing outdoor training space. And I know, Alex, you love it out there I do during the summer. It. Great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> getting out there every now and then with the rower, I see it. So, you know, it, it, it's such an amazing space. We have a private consulting room as well. And then, of course, the Lambert Studio, which is like a mini ballet studio um, where we do a lot of our one to one coaching and where our ballet coach, Brian Maloney, works out of uh, doing some of the rehab work. So, it's a, it's a really unique space and a great space at the Monica Mason Healthcare Suite. Yeah, it's a really great thing. Yeah, uh -huh. we're so lucky. And obviously, with any elite sport training can start young and you work closely with the Royal Ballet School and we have Christopher Powney joining us he's the artistic director of the Royal Ballet welcome Chris Hi. Chris I always love seeing you because I mean I don't want to make you feel old but oh, Chris thanks. was my teacher <laughs> oh. tw 20 years ago and kind of just to seeing the advancement in this area of the training is amazing isn't it? It is. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And uh, I say we're running parallel, really, with uh, what's happening here at the Royal Ballet over at the school as well. Mm. So, and there's been a lot, a lot of advancements in the last sort of nine to, uh, nine to ten years. Yeah, so the yeah. two of you work closely together, I, I presume. How does that work? Well, yeah, I have close connections with the ballet school healthcare team, uh, the head of the ballet school uh, healthcare department, Karen, Sheriff. We, we catch up regularly. Also, uh, some of the staff, yeah, cross over here and we have uh, sort of colleague to colleague chats all the time. So whether that's the physios talking to the physios or the, the gym guys talking to the strength and conditioning staff, we, we try and, uh, you know, encourage that sort of connection between the school and here because there is always going to be that link so yeah and it's, it's that bit about uh, the the growing body versus the the full fully sort of performing professional and i think that understanding both yeah. worlds is really important because we train for that mm. so fabulous um chris could you tell us a little bit about the healthy dancer program i'm uh, keen to learn a bit more about that yeah, the Healthy Dancy Pro, I mean, it's really just, as I say, it's running parallel. It's been set up about eight or nine years ago um, and to help our students cope with intense training, um, physically, emotionally, mentally. Uh, there's so many aspects that, uh, and the pressures that fall on a young person or a young dancer. Um, and I suppose the difference we've got is, like I just said, it's the growing dancer. It's the young person growing through teenage years, going into the, the vocational training and then on into the profession. And as you both know, as you grow, things change at quite a pace. And how do you manage that against the training that they're trying to do in the studio uh, to become that top professional? So we've got, I mean, we've got a huge team now and I'm super proud of what's happened and the advancements that's happened uh, uh, through these past eight to nine years. And it's partly to do with maintenance and coping with uh, the training, it's uh, the individual programs that they're on and I think that's very exciting. So when they come into the school or whatever stage they come into the school, uh, they, they work with the healthcare team to find out where their strengths, where their weaknesses are, where the school can help and they go on individual programs and they're even on, they've got their own apps that they follow, they put input information about loading, about uh, sleep patterns, there's so much there that helps them on their individual journey through the school. So that's really exciting. But it's also about research. And I think that's really important because we are where we are now and there's so much more to learn. And as the profession evolves, and it does uh, at quite a pace, how does a young body or a dancer cope with that new profession and the demands of uh, whatever choreographic style is going to be thrown at them? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We've got a rehearsal coming up with some of the students in a moment. But first, we've got a little video and it shows uh, some of the facilities of how we train these future ballet stars of the future and specifically in how they tackle pas de deux. For a dancer, whether it's classical ballet or in the contemporary world, partnering is really, really important. From a very early age, it's essential that the young children learn how to work together in unison or in couples. As they get older, let's say 14, 15, we start supported adage, but that's not lifting, that's supported adage. Just understanding where balance is and counterbalance. And then obviously they go into the older years and we start to really build on that classical ballet, part de of their work and also contemporary partnering. Also it has to run parallel with how they're growing because of strength. It's training blocks, building blocks, but it's also as they mature physically and we take that very very seriously here at the Royal Ballet School and we tie it in with the healthcare, the healthcare work with the ballet teachers and the, the dance trainers so that those coincide and run parallel to eventually of course being able they can tackle some of those fantastic part of those you see on the professional stage. Strength and conditioning has been really helpful for us in learning how to really use our muscles and kind of strengthen our legs and our arms to be able to lift the girls in part of the I think I've focused 
in SNC more than I used to on doing like pull-ups and push-ups and overhead presses because when you're doing things like pirouettes in pas de deux and finger turns you need to be able to hold the shoulder in place not just like let it go so the boys can turn you. After having long days of trainings and pas de classes because our muscles can get tense it is great that we have access to soft tissue therapy and recovery boots provided by our healthcare team. If a student gets injured, um, I don't think there's ever a day where you're not doing something. We would have things like nutritionist appointments, which would help us think about what we could do to like, you know, strengthen our bones if it's a bone injury, or protect our muscles if we've pulled any muscles or torn anything. We also, if you, let's say you're having a bad week, we um, we had a counsellor on site, so you can always go and talk to them. As a world-leading organisation, we see research as integral to our approach of understanding of our young dancers. We work with leading institutions such as Queen Mary's University London, St Mary's University Twickenham, University of Essex and Podium Analytics to help us achieve this. We have a partnership with the UK Institute of Sport, which gives us an in-house performance nutritionist and also access to their varied and extensive network of nutrition information. In addition, the school can access the UK Institute of Sports wider networks investigating areas such as REDS, which we know is prevalent in all sports, but aesthetic art forms are particularly at risk. This is really a developing area of wider understanding, so it's a primary focus of performance team strategy with us here in-house. Smarterbase is essentially an app that helps a healthcare team track our data from day to day, which uh, helps them pick up on whether we're going to have an injury early on. So it asks us questions like how much sleep we've had, if we're just too tired, they can pick up on that and stop anything from happening before it gets worse. Through the app Smarterbase, we are able to book so many different appointments, like we can just book a physio appointment if we want to speak to the physio about anything or we can book like a one-to-one SNC or Pilates session as well as counselling sessions like and it's all just from your phone so it's very easy to access. You're about to see the Rhapsody Pas de Deux uh, by Sir Frederick Ashton. This Pas de Deux is a beautiful Pas de Deux and it was created for the late Queen Elizabeth's mother for her 80th birthday. It was created on Mikhail Baryshnikov and Leslie Collier, two of the greatest stars of that period. To be able to follow in their footsteps for these students is truly inspirational. This is where it all leads to. After all the training that they've done, uh, the rehearsals, working on technique, and also working with the healthcare team integrated to be able to be strong enough and capable enough to deliver such a stunning part of that. And I'm delighted that you're about to see our students rehearsed here at the Royal Opera House. So we're still here in the Claw studio. Thanks to Shane, we're still joined by Chris and Stuart Cassidy. Welcome, Stuart. Hi, now, I'm so excited to see you because you were an amazing artist with the company. And I know teachers come in all sorts of forms. They might not have been a dancer, but it's so lovely to have you here and knowing how incredible you were to pass on your experience yeah. and expertise and knowledge of what the company does. So Thank you. this yeah. is exciting. Full circle. For yeah, me. it's really yeah. nice. So as the video said, we're going to see um, Rhapsody. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the process? Uh, well, the, the kids have learnt it. Um, we've been learning it for the last half term. So okay. the whole of that half term we've been learning the piece. So they know pretty much exactly what they need to do now. Right. And it's just polishing and getting it to the point where they're ready to perform. So we're close uh, to, what, to what it needs to look like. And are you um, kind of obviously we were talking about the facilities outside of the studio. Kind of how is that for you to, to bring those in? to their performance? Um, well, everything really it seems to flow on. You know, when you've, when you've been and done it as a professional, bringing it back in and trying to feed it back into the students is, uh, is a pretty natural process. So it's quite a natural curve back round from, from doing it to, to giving it back again. Okay. Well, we're so excited to see, aren't we? We'll just can't hand it over. So it's yourself with Zenaida. Yes. Uh, Zenaida yes. Janowski, another amazing principal, is going to join to coach. We've got Rob Clark on the piano. We do, and I've got the list of students who are behind us, ready to get into it. Uh, Jules Chast, 
uh, Tiani Finn Granger, Alejandro Munoz, and Katie Robertson. Can't wait to see it. Take it away. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's try and make ourselves equidistant from centre. So we've got a nice half of the room each. There, yeah? so we know what you're what you're doing. Okay. Should we hit our first pose? And then we'll ask Rob to start. Thanks, and... here Rob thank you thank you very much excellent okay. ladies remember what we talked about about the the fact that he's waking you up so as you are yeah you have to feel like the petals of a flower just opening then give me a really nice bure yeah as you walk careful with that walk that walk has to be very very gentle because it has to be according to what your arms are doing so make sure that phrase continues as you open That's it. Into da da. Yeah. Uh huh. Awesome. Yeah. Remember that walking is one of the most difficult things to do. It's the thing that we have to master. Yeah. And gents, as you're coming in, remember as low as possible. Yes. We get nice, neat hands. Yes. The lower you can get your hands into that position for the lift. And then reposition again. Yes. Always reposition. And think of that grip where you need to be in and under. Neat hands. Put down, reposition the hands. That's it. Nice. Good, yeah, a nice separation, yes? Just that fraction, ladies, before you beret to let your gentleman get away. Yeah, then you rejoin. Very nice. And, uh, Squeeze and lift. That's it, using your legs. Good. Nice. I would close my arms a little earlier as you go bure 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 da da di da da because you want them here as you batu. So then you have somewhere to go in that arabesque. Careful because if he lifts you and your arms are out, then you have really it's a tricky coordination, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Jules, come up. When you lift, try and be as tall as possible. Yeah, she's higher off the floor then. So actually stand as you're walking. Yeah. Just gives her a little bit more height in the position. Yeah. Ladies, can I have a more um, eloquent developé devant? Uh, and we found out that this is called the rainbow in the score, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is, I think, fantastic mm. to, to see somebody's vision, no? Rainbow. So as you go, da di da di da one. Yeah, nice developé. Show me a nice developé with a breath. Yes, that's better. Yeah, nice. That's another hand position, gents. Yes, making sure once you've lifted, regather. Make sure the hands get back into the position you two. Really work together. Yes, the coordination of that lift helps it immensely. Together, plie and lift. That's it. Breathe together. Reposition on the hips and turn. There we go. Again, reposition the hands. Low on the hips. Lift, down, reposition again. Hips and turn. That's it. Be as tall as you can there, gents. Yeah. This was lovely. Very nice. Yeah. Shall we start again mm -hmm. from the beginning? Yeah. Just when you're doing your pirouettes, think about how wide your legs are. I know you're nice and stable like this, but from the front we can see them. Yeah, so just try and think about what's seen from the front when you're partnering the pirouettes. 
Okay. So ladies, remember that the, the walks is the continuation of your arm. So as you open, you start walking, but it has to be one phrase. It can't be two different movements. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Okay, let's stop there. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Let's just work out who's going to be in front and behind, yes, yeah, so we don't bump into each other there. Should we have Jules goes back a fraction, yes, with Tierney, so that Alejandro and Katie are a little bit more downstage. Good. So let's take it again from the from the <laughs> from after the period, after the second yes. rainbow. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. There. Ah, okay, thank before you. we get to the big left. Okay, good. Try and conceal the coming down from the second, the second big left. Yes, so you get to the back, you're already coming down, and then you finally do it there. If, you'd if you wait too long, we see the whole process. Yeah, try and disguise it as it comes around. Yeah, and lift. Good, and now it's coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. That's it. Now it's gone the other way. So what's happening is now we're seeing that finish at the back. The moment of trying to get it to come down is as you're turning to the side. Yeah, so you're concealing what's happening. Yeah. And ladies, press your shoulder blades down. So he has a good uh, frame. Okay, all right. Um, Let's do it. Do you want to do it with the music, do you think? Yeah, Again? It, it does yeah. help. It does help. A little bit more yes. of a stagger. <laughs> Let's just make sure that we have that space. And that goes on into the next section, yes? Can again see, I know, I know that um, you, feel, you feel like the music is pushing you, but actually you should feel like you're swimming in the music, more like. So don't uh, cut the corners on your steps. Just full step, da da di da, yeah? Full step, just swim with the music, don't panic. Um, especially the last one when you go da di da. Really, uh, uh, can I see, ladies, your preparation into Squeeze. the arabesque? Yeah. yeah, that's it, yeah. The better you prepare, the better position you will end up with, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Then the lifts were great. Yeah, yeah, good. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, let's try and do well. it. Remember those arabesques, especially the second time. Yeah. Don't allow the body to twist because we lose the length of the leg. That's it. Yeah. 
Keep the line long. There we go. Arms up and over. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Another go. Was that second rainbow? Uh, this is from the first lift, uh, the, the, first, the small lift. Small lift. Thank you. This is the small lift into the big one. Stop there. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Very good. Really nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Think about your, your roots. Now we're up there and you're thinking, yeah, you've done it. Think about how you get to the back. Yes. So it's that gradual curve round again. So you're doing a, a semicircle to get round to the back. And then if you can, Jules, think of that second turn before you come down. Yeah. Otherwise, you're, you're there doing nothing for a while yes yeah? so think about how smooth and continuous that position can be and the same i think I, it felt like you you were walking backwards for a little mm. bit too long so she was giving us the yeah. back for a, just a hair too long yeah. that's where the semicircle softens that yeah. line and then on yourself at the, at the back good very pleased with that that worked wonderfully well good stuff we've been practicing that for weeks haven't we <laughs> <coughs> yeah very good <laughs> Uh, ladies, shoulders down on that lift. I know it's a hard one. Da, da, ding, da, 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 da. Yeah. Remember always that V position, you know, a little bit of a U from your neck to your arms all the time. Yeah. Shall we take it again from, do you think from the jump start? Yeah. Da, 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 into the big lift? Yeah. Obviously, we're not, we're not using the whole stage now, but you're, you're jumping very well. Gents, try and get that separation. So you stop moving and then your lady comes in. Yes, try and separate as soon as you can to get that gap. Ladies, can I also have softer arms on that fuerte? Remember that fuerte, really get that, uh, that hip around. Yes, careful that, aha, uh -huh. yeah. So you have to negotiate the fuerte a little bit better. You still want to go one in one, but that transition between a la seconde and arabesque has to be uh, more careful yeah. because otherwise your hip falls down a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, better, better. Yes, exactly. Think and then softer arms as you go here, right? Yeah. yeah. Think about your distance as well. As you come into that arabesque, you've done the fuete, yeah. the fur uh, further you are away you are, the better. Yeah. So if you're close, mm. it's not quite as, as nice as if you've yeah. got that distance. You can almost nice. have straight arms. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, so you've got that distance. <clears throat> yeah. That looks very nice. Let's listen, let's go from the first of the runs and so we catch on the second mm -hmm. one. Yeah? Play the first, Play the Play first the one, first. pick up the second one. Keep it moving, moving, moving.
Okay, let's stop there. Okay. For a second. Excellent. Good. Very good. Big section. Yeah. Again, well done. Very good. Yeah. Much better angles. Ladies, I feel that when you were doing that lift, uh, this was great, dee, da, dee, da, 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 and then you went into this, the arms went down a little bit, and so you started from here. I feel that this line is not as beautiful as if it's sustained. Yeah, that's it. And then it means you can start from here, da, dee, da, 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 yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Otherwise, uh, that was very, yeah. very beautiful. Yeah. Coming down into the steps. Again, try and help your lady to the side. As you're coming down, yeah, she's down. Give her a little bit of assistance. Yes, yeah, so she can roll through her shoe and just take her position. Keep that, that relationship so she's against your chest. Yes, you're not behind, you, you are behind. Yes, you're not side to side. Yeah, there's a little bit more lady in front and then nestle. Yeah, that's it. Tierney, nice. maybe not so much eye contact. Yeah. It's too direct. It's a little bit more playful and subtle. Yeah, because this next section is very playful. Yeah, you're going into that. So it's a little bit more coy and under. You know he's there. That's it. Yes. Direct eye contact's a bit, you know, yeah. a bit too much. <clears throat> Excellent. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Again, work together. Breathe, breathe on that arabesque. You want to go from down up, not from middle up. Yeah? Go all the way. Dare, dare to really breathe. Da, and da, di, da, yeah. yeah, that's it, better. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. I know it's very risky, but just give him that hand, you know, immediately so he's got it. And all you have to do then is just open. That's yeah? It. Expand. Da, di, da. Yes, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Now we need to finish this. We've got a couple of minutes left. So let's go from here to the end. Shall we yeah. go from the walks, pussycat? We get, yeah. Yes. The walks. Yeah. Is that a good place? Yeah, coming down yeah. will be great. Perfect. <laughs> So amazing. I don't want to interrupt, but that's no. all the time we've got. That was yep. so incredible. Congratulations. I mean, what a treat. Thank you, Stuart and Zen, Rob. No, thank you. Just gorgeous. Um, you're still here in the claw. We're live from the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden. And let's see what's still to come.
Well, you never know where the next star of the Royal Ballet may come from. And one person who has risen through the ranks uh, from student to principal of the Royal Ballet is Matthew Ball. It takes an incredible amount of dedication and perseverance to get there. And as we heard earlier, training for ballet is like training for any other elite level sport. And in this new film, Matthew Ball explores the challenges of the day-to-day -day life as a ballet dancer and the mental and physical preparation required to reach the very top of the ballet world. Directed by Chris Reed and with original music by Daniel Lee, they've been kind enough to share a teaser from Contortion. Dance is one of those art forms that is only alive whilst it's happening. There's lots of things that you can have fears about as a dancer. Going out on stage itself is something very challenging and often scary. We're always working in a very vulnerable space because our body is the instrument that we need to perform. And if we don't take good care of it, if it's not working with us, then it's working against us. I remember going to the theatre from a young age was always a very special experience. All of those inspiring performers who've sang incredible arias, who've danced. You can't help but be inspired by this place. On a normal day, I feel more ready to push through whatever life throws at me. But on the day of a performance, I want to be as streamlined as possible. During my career, I have had some really challenging moments where it seemed I wouldn't be able to continue dancing. When I was graduating from the Royal Ballet School, I had to stop. And that was due to an issue with my knee. Took the time to have a surgery and rehabilitate. But it was also a moment of transition in my dancing life as well as I moved from a student into a professional career. There's a certain sense of focus that comes into the body. You see yourself in the mirror, in some ways you're a bit unrecognizable. It's almost like putting on the character. Once the choreography has become part of you, it's not very often that you're actually thinking about the next step. Very often, it's more the transcendent emotion, more the, the drive of the character, the impulse. The moments that we're preparing to get on stage that can hurt the most. We 
when you get on stage and have that adrenaline, when you hear the music, when the choreography is flowing through your body naturally. That's what makes it worth it. You can transcend all the pain, all the preparation, and just live in that moment. Thank you to Chris for sharing that teaser of Contortion and watch this space for an opportunity to watch the full film. Right, well, next up we have a rehearsal from Northern Ballet and I'm joined by the wonderful Federico. Hello, Fede, Kristen. it's so nice to see you. Very good to see you too. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You're performing, or the company are performing at the minute in the Limbury. That's right. So it's three short works. Yes. Amazing. So, I mean, it's always good to have you here. How has your journey been from principal dancer here to artistic director? Because it's been a, y a year, year and a half. A year and a half. Look, Kristen, every time I come back to the Opera House, it feels like home in so many ways. I, I mean, we used to work together in the studio not so long ago. <laughs> exactly. And I see so many familiar faces. It's mm. such a lovely thing to be back. And of course, I'm now back with my new family, Northern Ballet. We're always very keen to come to the Opera House. And uh, how has the transition been? It's been very busy, you know? Yeah. It's been many things, it's been amazing, you know, highs and lows. It's, uh, it's really a step change from mm -hmm. thinking, kind of thinking of yourself as yeah. a dancer, to really wanting to create the conditions, the space for people to thrive in a company. And that is the dancers, the choreographers, the, uh, the wardrobe, the technicians, you know, the whole organization, there is a lot of planning ahead for the future and those are the exciting things and there are some difficult moments as well you know in 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 all ballet companies of course i mean we had a little film earlier of kevin talking to david halberg and they were talking about the challenges but i wonder if you can tell us some of the joys i mean you're talking yes. about them there. look so some of the joys i think is beginning with an idea mm -hmm. and talking to somebody about can we make a new piece, can we make a new ballet? And it starts with almost nothing, right? And then yeah. it little by little develops. And then like last night and what you're about to see, you see it on stage and really seeing the development of uh, and the creative process. This is one of the joys, I have to say. And it also applies to, to the dancers. Um, seeing dancers develop and mature, you know, starting on a new piece for them and maybe it's, it's a challenge, it doesn't quite work and then so much hard work and passion mm -hmm. and intelligence, I have to say, lots of intelligence being put into the work and seeing the final product. Is there ever a final product? Uh, but seeing yeah. the performance <laughs> on stage and that is something that is um, really amazing to see. So what is the rehearsal we're about to see now? Which of the pieces is it? So uh, we're about to rehearse um, a ballet called Intimate Pages by mm -hmm. Tyler Peck. So I w See, even that's amazing, isn't it? Because obviously Tyler, a principal in her own right in New York City Ballet, but very much like part of a community to, to pass on work, to Absolutely. create with people. Absolutely, and look, um, the, the mixed bill is basically a mixed bill mm -hmm. and we call it Generations. <gasps> yep. Why Generations? Because basically there is one existing piece and two new pieces. And in my mind, it was three generations of choreographers. And so what the existing piece is by Hans van Manen. It's been created 50 years ago, an amazing ballet, Adagio and Clavier. And then we have two new and upcoming choreographers. One is Benjamin Ella, you know, our, yeah. my ex-colleague, your yeah. colleague at the moment, who made a ballet for, for Northern Ballet. And then, of course, Tyler Peck, who's also, as you said, um, an amazing principal dancer with New York City Ballet. And um, she came to Leeds and created it in a... I think the environment was amazing, you know, she, she's a buzzing kind of person. Yeah. Being in the studio with her, it was a, it was a, real, a real treat. And uh, she's made this ballet on uh, Janacek uh, string quartet called, well, it's actually called Intimate Pages. And uh, it's, the inspiration is from, I think Janacek was in love with a woman for over 30, 40 years. And so there is some of that kind of trickling down in the choreography. And I wonder if you'll be able to see it in the, in the short time that we have two years today. Okay, well, let's see. I think you're going to take the rehearsal, aren't you, Fede? So yes, can I can also say that there is a, a lovely ballet staff, which is Christelle, that yeah. usually looks after this ballet, but she okay. wasn't able to be here. So shout out to Christelle. I think okay, she's Christelle. done an amazing job. But so today I'm up. I'm doing this rehearsal. So oh, amazing. Can't wait to see. There you yes. go. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. So you did an amazing job last night. Thank you very much. There was such a good energy and I know it was really quick to get used to the new stage, to the new space, so really well done. Okay, I've got some notes, but the first thing that I wanted to work on, you know, Iris, you are, uh, where is you? You are the middle, in, in the center, right? So when we come in, I think we talked about this and it's about the energy, then we go there 
and different spaces mean, I think it means that you need to start coming in at different times. But it's really the contrast from seeing Harris by himself and then what, your forces of nature there. Can I, can I have a look? So I really need a more than you can kind of drive in. Okay, I don't know how to count it, but seven, eight, and go. Whoa. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you see, Bruno, I think there is something in the shoulders, right, when you go in. So, so they kind of need to, I mean, without exaggerating, but there is a, a bit of a chest. The, the chest is dry. There you go. There you go. You know, this is different. This is different. And then, you know, for the women, when we go around and we do the bure, can this, it needs to be just a little heavier. Is, is this time to a devil pain? No, right? This time is straight. But, and later on, we also do the round jam, right? It just needs to have a little bit more weight. Can I please see that? So let's do the run in once more. And really give it, the music is fast, but give it a, a good weight there and bend onto the leg. Seven, eight. And exactly, there you go, there you go. So it kind of needs to be, and you know when it comes back later in, in this movement, there, there is the same thing, and that time it goes into the round de jam. Now, good transition, Aries, very good solo. Now, the next thing I wanted, and now we're gonna do it with the music. You know when we get here in the Michael Jackson group? Some pe I can't remember who he was last night, but we had somebody just being a bit late. What, you go in the silence, don't you? Because you're there at the back and then you're running. I would love it because it's, if you could all be there one, two before you go back on the three. Can we try this from the beginning? So let's go with the music from the beginning and let's do it until here. Is it a question of anticipating to get there? Let's have a look. You know, for uh, low arms for the double two. Double two is working really well. It's, you know, after you do this, all of this is really good. Careful that the arms don't go too high. Just keep them a bit, yeah, you see even, yeah, exactly, just keep it in front of you. Over there. Can you do the double two and tune, can you pick us up uh, with the music, please? Yeah, I'll pick up um, as Harry's lines. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. Just for, for now, just do a couple for now, yeah. Energy there. And now through honey here. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this now was very good. So I thought you were gonna be late, but you weren't, right? So you go last, you let other people go. But just, maybe, maybe it was you last night, I'm not so sure. Because you have shorter to go, right? But it's really important to get that, that moment there. Can we go back to this point? So before we continue, it was much better at the beginning, right? So that intention is really crucial there. So there is this trio. Who is the trio that comes down? Is uh, Stefano with Jude. Eh, we talked about that, right? I think it's about, S still a bit cut in the corner. I would love to get to the diagonal and everybody still before Heather you go there. Can we just mark it without the music? Can you please go through the seven, eight and one, two, three. Bah. That's it, that's it. But so, you know, the two of you, you kind of have to chase Harris. So Harris, ma make sure you can travel there. And you know, it's, I think you just need to cut a bit the corner there. Mm -hmm. Can we try once more? Let's go into the position. And um, do it, please, because of course it's different when you do it. Okay. I'll count one, two, three. One, two, three. Go, 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 cut it, yes. And down, and down, and down, and down. One. Okay, so now, without the music, you were faster than there, so I think this will work. Yeah. But, uh, so it's really, and, and if you can kind of Put her in. Okay. Nobody sees you, you're just there, okay? And then, you know, for this, um, are you on this side? No, I can't remember, but this drag, can I have a little bit of more intention? You know, after this, and I shoot a little bit. So you see, I would love to, where are you? You're here, right? So this foot, can he stay there and then drag behind? So carry her a bit more, Iris. You see how you move it a little bit? To help him, so so you're here, and then you go, you shorten it to help Harris. 
be ready, Harris, but she won't help you this time. So there, carry it. Yes, exactly. And so from there it goes like, and I know the space is what it is, right? So you, you can't travel very much, but yeah. okay. Can we do musically, Chun, can you give us um, the lead into the Michael Jackson bit? Yep. Okay, when you're ready. Use the shoulders there. Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you. Julie, question for you. When do you open your legs? So it carries you around, right? Can you almost open them? I'm talking at fraction. Because they're still around, right? It still goes like this. But if you open it sooner, I think it makes it a bit slow. Um, there is a low music. I, I, I almost want to say that you're a tiny bit early on that. Can we listen to it once, uh, Chun, please? So, because I want them to settle and then you two come out so then we really can focus on, on what you're doing there. The, the same again. Yeah. Oh, let's do it once more, please. Thank you. So then I know you're walking into that, but try not to be seen and then burst out of that. Okay? Okay. Thank you. How was that? I didn't... Was that better? I believe. Okay. Thank you, Jun. Okay, just a, a few notes here and there. Um, the trios were actually really good. Um, you know when the, the, um, the three women, you know when you go into the speaker and it really goes down? I know it's easy for me without point shoes, but can we get a little bit more of this? And I think you can put some weight on the front leg and one. Yes, that's it. That's it, that's it. And that is very good, very good. Make, make sure it really crosses, but the weight was good there. One. Yes. Do, do you need to come down just a little early? So, you know, if you, do you need to start coming down there so then you can and make sure you cross it like that, exactly. And you know that three men at the back? You have a run about the same time, right? You know how, Archie, I think we talked about, is, is that right hand to really, can I see this with the three couples at the back? So if you use your right hand to really manipulate the hip. Yeah. Who is? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So you go, thank you. And, yes, yes, because you see, if you, can, if you start just a little bit more in front, then you can really use that coming around. Show me once more. Wow, yes. Good, Stefan. Good. OK. All right. Thank you very much. Um, just at the end, I'm not, we're not going to do it. But you know the cocoons? Really excellent spacing, timing. Everything was good. You know when you run out? The, you run out of music, and, and people were still on stage. I know it's quick. Can we try to really push it? Is there any way that you can make it more efficient so then you wanna do more than you can? You know the thing? Christelle knows what you mean. <laughs> okay. But really, so then, so then Harris, you get there just with the music rather than a little bit later. You see what I mean? Let's really push that so make sure the floor is good and okay. Shall we go from the beginning? Let's go for a run of this first movement. Chun, are you okay? Yes, yeah. ready. Thank you. Thank you, Aris.
Stefano. And travel now. Keep your head to, over the right shoulder a bit longer. diagonal as you can now, Heather. Almost flat there. Yeah, 
Yes, thank you. Well done, well done. Thank you everyone from Northern Ballet and Federico for that wonderful rehearsal. Um, oh, I'd love to see more and if you would like to see more, um, please visit the website, particularly if you're in London, there'd be work for you because it opened last night um, and closes tomorrow night. Uh, it's in the Lindbury Theatre and it's called Generations Three Short Ballets. So opportunity to catch that performance if you can. Um, I'm joined now by the wonderful Gary Avis. Hello. Uh, senior repetiteur and principal character artist here at the Royal Ballet and also ambassador for our Create and Dance program. Um, thanks for being here. My um, pleasure. So back in July this year, you were involved in a very special project. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so it was really, really exciting. Um, back in July, we had a mass participation event. So it wasn't just an event. It was this incredible coming together of talent, um, young, and, uh, young children and teachers. And it was um, up and down the country, we had schools that were plugged into a live stream event that we were doing here at Live at the Royal Opera House. Um, and it was all based and inspired by Crystal Pike, who is a renowned choreographer, mm -hmm. who choreographed an amazing piece for the company called Covenant. Um, and it was all basically inspired by that. And it's about the rights, the UN rights of the child. So it was exploring the importance of adults, ensuring that children and young people um, thrive and prosper. Gosh, that sounds incredible. Um, and it feeds into the National Schools Programme. Yeah, right? so um, it's, it's an amazing thing. So not only do the students benefit, but mm -hmm. also the teachers. So the, um, the whole course is basically led through um, curriculum-led um, mm -hmm. classes and lesson plans. And um, it is also certified teacher training. So right. they're very, very lucky. And it, it not just focuses on dance, but it also has singing and design. So the design element, well, all three elements are so sort of integral to what we deliver here at the Royal Opera House. So that's really exciting. And it's all about inspiring creativity um, and just building confidence. You know, it's not just the students that we saw on the day. So we had um, at least a hundred schools that were um, online with us and we had at least over 600 uh, students and teachers who were on locations around the UK so it was amazing so um, yeah we were very very lucky to have them with us. How incredible and it sounds like it was very successful and so really they're bringing successful. it back for 2024. Yes yeah, so um, I have the privilege of sort of almost releasing the date so it's coming back uh, next year so it's on the 2nd of July okay. and we're asking and inviting all schools so it's for primary schools um, uh, well, all schools to get involved. It's free. This is the main thing. So it's free, and it's basically um, for the students and or for the teachers to get involved. Get um, online, apply, and we will send you all the resources that they need, the teaching plans, and they will be all set up and ready to go on the day. Sounds so it's good. the second of July. Second of July. All right. Well, Twenty sounds... twenty-four. 2024. Sounds incredible. Um, thank you so much um, for being here. You'll be back a little later for rehearsal. Yeah, um, but in the meantime, we have a little teaser from Create Day 2023. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to Create Day. Today is the culmination of everything that you've been doing. There's loads of people dancing, singing and having fun. I feel really good about myself taking part. It's like you're finally unleashing the secret you've been holding and now you're finally happy to give it out. Where are we? Royal, opera, house, music. Create Day is back on the 2nd of July 2024, so if you would like to get involved, make sure to visit roh.org.uk forward slash create day to find out more. Great, and the learning and participation team here at the Opera House plays such a key part in ensuring that new voices are heard and represented going beyond the walls of Covent Garden to make sure that they place themselves in communities far and wide. Yes, that's right. Through special events, workshops and multi-year programmes, they work with audiences from across the world and partner with over 150 UK organisations to ensure that individuals everywhere can enjoy ballet and opera. Now, one part of this is called the Creative Exchange Programme, which works with specific adult community groups uh, and those who are usually either underrepresented or underserved by society. 
Back in 2020, one of these programs was built around Kathy Marston's new ballet, The Cellist, a lyrical memoir depicting the momentous life of cellist uh, Jacqueline Dupre, whose career was tragically cut short by multiple sclerosis. And as part of this creative exchange, the team partnered with the MS Society. And to tell us more, we've got Teo and Dave with us. Thank you for joining us. Um, Dave, first, we'll start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about this partnership and your involvement with it? Yeah, so Creative Exchange, as you said, is it's a project that, that partners and identifies underrepresented communities uh, and introduces them to the Royal Ballet, its repertoire and its dancers. Uh, and we create an inclusive space here at the Royal Opera House and we all go on a journey together, like a creative choreographic journey together, exploring the themes, the characters, the music and the motif from a ballet that's either in rehearsal or in performance right here and right now. Uh, and the culmination of that, um, it can vary from group to group. Uh, it could be a live performance here uh, in the Paul Hamlin Hall, or it could be a short film. Now, unfortunately, the programme uh, with the MS Society was cut short due to the pandemic, but choreographer Bim Malkinson carried on independently. And Teo, you became involved. You're a soloist here with the company. Can you tell us how you uh, got involved with the project? Yes. Well, I've known Bim since I was about 15, okay. when she used to do exchange work with the school. So I've had a connection to her for many years now, and it just so happened that we bumped into each other at stage door had a chat and she let me know about the project that she was doing. So wonderful sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just those chance yeah, meetings. Yeah. And she asked if I'd be free to come and help her do some movement work with one of the people she was working with, Mario, who is okay. in the film. Um, and it just went on from there. Free from yeah. there. We're, we're going to see that film shortly. Can you tell us a little bit um, more about it? Yes, so the, the film is basically the culmination of I think it was maybe two movement workshops that we did, um, looking at what you could do from being seated, essentially. How you could use sound or breath or just pour de bras to connect with somebody else. Um, and in the film, one of Bim's tasks was to continue but with our eyes closed mm -hmm. and just feeling the connection with each other um, so that is what we will be seeing fascinating look forward to seeing that um, David looking to the future I believe the new creative exchange program starts again today that's right Alex yes today is the day so we've got a new cohort actually we have some members from the 2020 cohort that, have, that are still working with BIM and have come back and today was day one of a 12-week journey, a uh, choreographic journey, here at the Royal Opera House. And the culmination will be um, at the Live at Lunch event on the 9th of February. So 1 o'clock in the Paul Hamlin Hall, 9th of February. Come along and see what that looks like. Fantastic. We'll have to be there. Absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right. Well, if you would like to find out more about the uh, Creative Exchange Programme and come along, come along, come along to that Live at Lunch event, please do visit the website. Um, thank you both so much for being here. Uh, let's take a look at that short film directed by Bim Malcolmson, starring Theo Dubroy and Maria Mattia with music by Jean-Philippe Rameau and Theodore Currensis. This is Who's in the Frame?
thank you so much to David, Teo and Bim for that powerful piece of work. Now, dance and ballet is such an amazing art form to convey so much emotion without speaking a single word. And one of the pieces that we're performing at the moment on the main stage, which shows that incredibly, is Kathy Marsden's The Cellist. And joining me now is Mayara Magri. Thank you for joining me, Mayara. Thank you. you debuted in this role as Jacqueline Dupre. It tells the story of her. How was it to debut in a role like this? And um, what is it like to tell a story such as this? Yes, I was in the creation process uh, when it was first made okay. uh, as a um, cover of the role and understudy right. of Jacqueline Dupre's role. And uh, but didn't get the chance to perform it. But this time was okay. the real moment that I could make it my own and uh, have the opportunity to tell her story. It's been amazing, mm -hmm. such an amazing journey to learn from her real life story and to put that into steps and dance that out. Um, it's, you know, being with the Royal Ballet has been, um, for me, like a real dream, not just because we get to do the traditional classical repertoire, you know, being a swan, being a fairy, um, but also because we really get to do and tell stories of real people and be you know, uh, humans on stage and tell these stories Absolutely, to the audience. Absolutely, because they're so important yeah. to tell, aren't they? It's amazing when people create work to do it. Not easy to do, but amazing as artists too. Yeah, yeah. definitely not easy because you want to be thorough and truth, uh, truthful to um, the person's story. You want to really portray the real Jacqueline Dupre in this case. And it wasn't a, an easy story to, to get to. Um, and the ballet really uh, draws the line of, from the moment she learned how to play the cello, she was an extraordinary cellist and unfortunately got MS. And from that, she lost control of her limbs, which for us dancers is so powerful mm -hmm. because we can relate so much with how it would be like to, yeah. to lose the power and the control of you know, what we use for dance. So it's a very powerful ballet and yeah. I've been loving so much. Oh, it's so amazing to hear and you know clearly see yeah. <laughs> the excitement from you. We're going to have a little rehearsal of it now. It's yourself and Lucas Brensrod's going to join us. Hi, Lucas. Deirdre, you're going to take the rehearsal. Thank you. And we've got okay. the wonderful Kate Shipway and Hattie Snell it. on the cellist. You can take it. There you go. Now, guys. Should we start just on this, or do you want to do just the last phrase into it? Just the last circles of the wedding? Is that all right to start a little bit further ahead, just so we can try that transition? Well, further back. Further back, yes. So the, the third set of circles in the wedding. Sorry to spring that on you. I know. I didn't mean to. That should work. Perfect. Thanks, Kate.
heard you guys. That was a really nice way to kind of feel each other before the show this evening. A <laughs> um, couple of very tiny things. Um, from the dip and the slide through, don't pop it. Yeah? Let it enjoy it. Yes. <gasps> and let Lucas get in front of you there. Yeah. I don't think you need to go further, but it's that the whole, the whole part of this pas de deux is, is you two enjoying making music together. And so at this point, it was, it was that idea of an, oh, and we could play this or listen to that piece of music. So you're like, you're taking him with you somewhere. Yeah. Yes, nice, nice, good, yeah. Yeah, and the rolling around, there's just a moment. Um, can you fall into Lucas a little bit more just before ice skating? So from, the, from your hand offering when he comes in front of you. Yeah, and now that's nice. That's nice. Good. And then on stage, make sure that we're not next to the stool, yeah. but that we're a little bit more diagonal to the stool. Yeah. For exactly, so that when Myra runs back, we've got a little bit more um, of that. And then. He can control it. <laughs> I think it. And then I think if. And then up. Just to give yourself a moment back. And then for the third one, tuck your shoulder so that you don't. Bash your knee. Yeah. yeah. Kate, do you have um, just before what I have it marked swoop? I'm going to come look. Um, upside down ledge after. After the 14th. It it's Manon. Yeah. yeah. A couple bars into Manon. We got it. <laughs> Thanks. That was better. It's hard, but it's allowing him to be in charge of that one and just go with it. Yeah. Um, I think this is our time. Thanks, guys, for a quick snippet rehearsal. But thank you so snippet. much, Mayara, Lucas, D, Kate, Hetty. Hetty, thank you so much. You're leaving us wanting more. Thank you. And well, if you they're do on want tonight. More, are they tonight? You see, live tonight. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, so have a great one. I'm you. sure you'll be amazing. Thanks. Kate and Hetty, you'll be there tonight as well. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And if you did enjoy and do want to see more, the entire performance of the cellist is on the Royal Opera House stream. I will let you all go. Thank you so much. And from ballet classics like Sleeping Beauty to Swan Lake, 
to the more contemporary work such as the Dante Project. There are over 80 titles of opera and ballet all to be seen and that's on the Royal Opera House stream and we're giving World Ballet Day viewers a special offer. And for just one pound, you can access ROH Stream and all its wonderful titles for a whole month. And you just need to go to the roh.org.uk forward slash World Ballet Day offer and you can purchase the Stream subscription, but be quick as the offer has a limited time. The Royal Opera House Stream. Explore new worlds, fantastical worlds, glamorous worlds, the world's finest and world firsts. New worlds await. Well, thank you for sending in all your comments and questions. We've loved hearing from you. Uh, I'm going to read a few out now. We've got Happy World Ballet Day. I'm so happy to see this beautiful video and enjoyable live stream tonight from Japan. Uh, Susan Malcolm Smith says Fumi Kaneko is fantastic. I got to see her and Vadim, uh, Vadim Montaguro, in Don Quixote here in Cape Town a month or so ago. What a treat! Caroline Daniels, I'm so enjoying this rehearsal with the ballet school. It's so enlightening to see a pas de deux in the making. And huge congratulations to the students. Beautiful from Emma Clark. I must say, um, I thought the students did a wonderful job. There were some real tricky, high pressure lifts in there, which they nailed. Great to see. Um, do keep sending us those comments and questions. Uh, use the hashtag and don't forget to keep sending in your entries on TikTok and Instagram by using the hashtag World Ballet Day. It's not long until we show some of our favourites. Uh, up next we've got some exciting new choreography coming back in the claw. But first, let's look at what's still to come in the last couple of hours here at the Royal Opera House. much still in store and don't forget there are lots of other companies streaming today there's the National Ballet of Canada Singapore Ballet Acosta Danza the Hungarian National Ballet to name just a few and you can head to our website for more details yes World Ballet Day is the perfect chance to showcase the Royal Ballet repertoire both old and new we saw a little bit from the classic Don Quixote earlier followed by the cellist contemporary work by Kathy Marston and now we're going to see something totally different. Yeah, coming to the Opera House next year is the Festival of New Choreography. It's a series of performances and events that aim to embrace and champion new diverse voices in choreography. With new works from choreographers such as Gemma Bond, Jessica Lang, Robert Binet, Joseph Tunga and Matutu Zeli November, this event is the first of its kind with performances, events and activities taking place all over the house. Yeah, you've got them in the Limbury Theatre, the Paul Hamlin Hall, right here in the Claw Studio and of course on the main stage where first artist Joshua Junker is making his main stage debut. Yes. Thanks for joining us, Josh. This is Thank so you. exciting. Yes, it <laughs> is. A um, hugely exciting moment for you. Um, you've been yes. making your own work for a little bit now, but can you tell us about how you um, became interested to become a choreographer or how you, you know, right. started getting uh, into it? Yeah, I guess that, that started way earlier. I guess I was like eight years old and I started choreographing with a friend it was more like making little dances. Um, we didn't really choreograph. And then I started getting into the dancing career and I kind of just kept that interest going. And then here at the Royal Opera House, we have this annual program, Draftworks. And I basically have done that every year now. So this is opportunity for dancers to choreograph on their colleagues. Um, so I've done that every year and that kind of just slowly build into more and I really enjoy it. So. I'm very grateful for the opportunities and for draft works and all. Yeah, but it's all amazing to see that yeah. development from that to now this. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about this piece, your ideas for it, yeah. how it came about? So, yeah, usually I kind of take my inspiration from the music, so it's the same now. And I used Niels Fram's music, All Melody. It's this beautiful uh, electronic music that just kind of like slowly builds with layer on top of layer. and when listening to it, it feels like this new world kind of emerges and I took that as my starting point of, the, of my inspiration and I'll see where that leads me in the creation process in the studio and 
Amazing. Yeah. And what are we seeing here? Which part of it? Yeah, we so know this yet? is a little duet between <laughs> Liam Boswell and Madison Bailey. Okay. Uh, this is kind of where the music starts picking up a little bit more. This is synth coming in. It's a bit more high energy, a bit more flow. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll, I'll still have to see where it goes, but we have a little bit already made, so yeah. we'll rehearse that now. We're yeah. so excited to take it away. Can't wait to see. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Hello, guys. How's it going? Yeah, good. Um, I thought we'd just jump straight into it, do like a little run, stop maybe midway through or something, and then do some corrections. Just seeing how the music is going. Um, I just have to put it on a particular timing. Okay. Yeah. So we have it on. Is it quite low? Thank you. Four, five, six, one. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. All right, good. Yeah, okay, nice. Let's stop there. Thank you. Music, yeah. Great, nice, nice. Let's <laughs> slowly get into it. Um, I think. We've talked about this already. Let's go like really jump that first one and then really try and control out of it like slowly like really pull it and then straight into that one. Yeah. So let's let's try that one once. Uh, so Manny coming in. Whoop. Nice. Yeah. And do you think you could do it one more time and then almost having that coordination going into it already a little bit so it's not like a pop and then you yeah. It's more of a smooth. And whoom, nice, that's it, yeah, and then whoo, great, nice Liam, yeah. And then here, I thought maybe there you, that's kind of nice what you did there, it's kind of like making more of a thing out of that transition. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, because Maddie is in the back doing that, and then this could go straight, yeah, maybe don't travel as much, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Maddie, you could really go whoom, right, right into that one, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, so my, uh, Liam has to be ready there, yeah. And then here, like, I think it was yesterday, we kind of went a little bit earlier, which is kind of nice. Three, four, and I think maybe you do that, because you kind of pull on the one. Yeah. You don't have to pull on that. De -de 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 -de. It's on a little bit later. Three, so three, four, and five, and six, and let's try that for now. Maybe it's a bit too much. Yeah. yeah. So six, and one, two. Three, four, five, six, and one. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so maybe there's like a little bit of like, oh, are we going? And we're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then it would be nice if there's a real like silence there. So it's like uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, let's do the same thing and then go on until the next part. So if you could reset on two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. Okay. Just before, yep. maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Yeah. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Easy. Okay, 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 okay. Let's stop. Okay. Great. Yeah. It's quite, you're, you're like disoriented, aren't you? Yeah. That's great, though. Um, I think for that one, I think here you want to already kind of stay close. Yeah. And it's really nice if you, because this is so messy to have like that second, like even longer, almost delayed to a little bit. So it's like, uh, one, two, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. And then here, stay, stay closer. Yeah. Because it's really nice if you're really. And two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, nice. You don't have to slide as much for now, yeah. Maybe later on, yeah. Uh, let's do that one more time just with me counting. The little, uh, the, just the, the one, two, three, four, just the thing we just did, yeah. So four, five, six, and one. Two, three, four, five, 
six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm cutting slow, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you want to go through, or should we just do it one more time and see? Yeah, let's do it one more time, and then we can correct it after. Yeah. So maybe from 2.30. Yeah. Let's see. A little bit back, yeah. Oh, Should I do that? That thing goes up. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's, that's good. good. Oh. I can do it. Next time. Yeah, yeah. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Great. Nice. Yep. And pull. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah. Nice. That's really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think there was something <laughs> off. Maybe I'll, yeah. Uh, that's fine though, that, 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 that before was really nice. That lift was great, uh, going into the, I think maybe from here, we go into, which lift do we go into there again? Oh, yeah. And one. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice how you go straight into it and then, uh, the next lift is good, this is nice, then this is good. I think then from coming coming out of this plank lift-ish thing, could you try and like make it a little bit smoother so you go s like a little bit sooner onto Maddie instead of kind of, yeah. you twist it, I know, but yeah. Yeah, let's, let's look at it slowly, quickly, slowly, quickly. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's better. And then I think what would be nice if you actually have like straight here and then Maddie, if you're going to go straight into that as well. So it has this like falling thing and then you come out of it, yeah. Boom. Great, yeah. Nice, and pull up, yeah. All right, should we do it? Do, do we have, let's do it one more time. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> okay, get it on the right time again. Cool. Yeah. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, three, five, six, one. Nice. Four, five, six, one, two. Three, four, and five, and six, and nice. Three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, nice. Nice, yeah, I think it's still that like, that coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you can like actually, like keep, almost keep contact and then you just yeah. kind of, I think Liam is ready on the floor. Mm -hmm. oh, um, and already go, man, I think already when he's like going, like already, like because he, he can just fall anyway, or like support himself, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Was she too far, maybe? Or yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see that one more time. And zoom. And whoop. Yeah, I think maybe you don't travel. So when he goes, just step one. Yeah, because he stays quite close as well. Yeah. Nice, yeah. And this pool, yeah, that's great. 
And I think you can kind of finish like that, and then Maddie, you can go like forward a little bit, so it's that, like, whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Nice. Um, I don't know how long I still have, but maybe <laughs> we could do it again. <laughs> we don't have that much material yet, but... Um, Which one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe you do it from um, the lift just before. So go, maybe go from six. Yeah. Six, one, yeah. So I'll count you in four, and four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and go to three, Four, five, yeah, great. Yeah, I guess you kind of have to do an adjustment, or yeah, are you like this way? Yeah. yeah. Great. Maybe you could do like a under you leave yourself whilst he's falling to the floor. Yeah. Maybe just from that uh, when you go over Maddie. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, nice. That's great. And yeah. Pull them up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Nice. Um, that's nice. Yeah. Great, yeah. Um, do we want to have a quick look at your beginning, the, the little yeah. flip, maybe? Yeah. That's kind of fun. Sure. So I think you can almost like kind of be running into it and then do the six like that. So and then six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, great. I think maybe you could have like even more weight on the arm. So for a little bit longer, and then you swap it. Yeah. So it has that like suspension. And then the coming out is really nice, but you can delay it maybe yeah. one second. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you can almost delay it here. Uh, so you turn this way, right? Yeah. Delay it, like, already show your profile here, and then you kind of keep it for a longer. So we see your face. Stuck, stuck. Boom. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Sure. Nice. Great. Um, Is it still, is it, do we still have a lot of time? I don't want to make him do it, keep doing it. <laughs> Should we do it one more time? <laughs> easy. Just easy. <laughs> Slow. Yeah, I just want to see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, great. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Right? Boom! Nice. Sharp. Nice. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It. Nice. That that would have been it. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Looking great. Really sharp and smooth at the same time. Very nice. Yeah. Now nice. time's up. Sorry. Great. Thank you, Madison, <laughs> Liam, and Josh. Best of luck yeah. with your debut. Thank you it's really exciting. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Well done, Thank you guys. Thank you. Always amazing to see new new work, new voices. Absolutely, absolutely. And the uh, festival that Joshua is contributing to is part of the Royal Ballet's commitment to choreographic innovation and nurturing the future of this art form. And of course, to progress, we must have voices and representation from all walks of life, telling stories that aren't usually found in the classical ballet repertoire. And one person who has been instrumental in helping the Royal Ballet to do that is Joseph Tunga, who has been the Royal Ballet's emerging choreographer and now takes up the mantle of choreographic residency this season. Welcome, Joseph. Thanks for joining us. Um, we saw you last World Ballet Day uh, rehearsing your piece, See Us. Um, for those of you who'd like to see the finished work, you can see it on the Royal Opera House stream. Um, 
back to you now. What yeah. what are we working on this year? So working on uh, working on a new work mm -hmm. for the festival for 2024, and then just finished doing the Black History Month festival here at the yeah at the Opera House. Yeah, and yeah. why do you think these uh, festivals are important? I think it's important just to introduce new voices and new background into the space because I know like being in this building it's you know there's limited opportunities so I think when you do have an opportunity to bring new voices and new artists I think it's a perfect way uh, to do it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and you were talking about you curated a festival yeah. in October for Black History Month called yeah. Rhythm in Resilience can yeah, you tell us a little bit about that <laughs> tongue twisted <laughs> in there for me Thanks. I'm the same thing I have to think about it uh, so the festival I, I proposed it to Kevin in June and it was more about uh, having a moment in the month where we celebrate, you know, all the black and brown artists within a company and within the industry, you know, who make work. And it was more, yeah, just an invitation to celebrate and find out more about some company members' journey into the Royal Ballet and other companies at Ballet Black and find out, you know, how did they come about the relationship with the Opera House and, yeah, just moving forward and see what else can be done to make sure we have more representatives. Oh my wow. You see we're with it? you. Yeah, it's we're with me. You know I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have more various backgrounds uh, in the world of ballet. And how yeah. have you found building relationships with our dancers here? How has that journey been for you? How is the working uh, kind it's of been, yeah. do you know what? It, it's been fun. I I still don't know everyone because there's quite a it's few a people us, yeah. in the company. <laughs> but from uh, the few I know, it's been, I think, people have been welcoming to understanding uh, a new language, a new way of working, and I think that's been the, the good thing is about people being open to new practice, and mm. not all the time people are open to new practice if you're so used to doing the uh, similar stuff every day in making work, yeah. How has that been for you seeing that, though? Because obviously we can't move... Yeah. Like you can, has that been amazing for you? Because it takes your stuff in a new journey or? Yeah, it, do you know what? It's been, I think being here for the last coming to three years, what's been nice is having little moments like in Drawfox to mm. build with different dancers and start building the language. Yeah. And one dancer will pass it on to the other. So it, ha it has a ripple effect. So I think having this time has allowed more performers in a company to understand, okay, if you're gonna work with Joseph, it's gonna look at this, this physicality. Yeah. So it's easier for me to feel like I can translate my movement because more people are understanding it now. Mm. And yeah. did you have any expectation coming into the Opera House and working with the Royal Ballet and, and did the experience differ from that expectation? Uh, oh, did I? <laughs> Do you know what, I didn't. I, I just, you know, came in, I knew for me it would be a, a new space, a new world, a new way of looking at stuff. So I also knew that it would be for the company as well, understanding my practice and how we're trying to find like a halfway point to really speak the same language. So for me, it, what's been surprising is just, I think the openness to wanting to know what else is out there. Cause I think sometimes when you go to other companies, like this is what we do and mm. you have to work around it. And what's been nice here is like, okay, we do this, you do that. How do we find an understanding to make sure you can get your ideas out? Mm. Yeah. And one thing I love mm -hmm. is that you always bring amazing, interesting music choices oh my into the building. <laughs> can you tell us like, what inspires you or how that comes? Uh, that is, I don't know. I'm just a lover of, of music, any, any music that makes me move a tiny bit. So for this new work, it's a composer, Marina Moore, who actually uh, plays for the orchestra. So it's her first time making work for a ballet. So we're both on that journey. And oh, wow. I, someone passed me over her work, heard it and was like, you've got to be my composer for the new work. So yeah. it's been a really like, interesting, fun journey. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, we're about to see a, a film you've, um, as part of the festival, you've yeah. partnered with a director called Harrison Emmanuel to yeah. create this short film. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So the short film is part of the festival and it's more about the, the world, getting to understand some members of the company. So that's literally what it's about. It's about seeing some of the different guys like Mariana, uh, Joseph, seeing about their journey their thoughts and opinion about the company and what's next for them. So it's a little celebration to say, you know, 
Here we are. Let's have a moment to really celebrate and lift who you are in the company. Well, that's gorgeous, isn't yeah. it? Like to create opportunities mm -hmm. for members of the company yeah. to have space for, mm -hmm. for their voices. No, I love that. And, you know, we've seen some great work from you already. Yeah. But, you know, in terms of the voices and the stories that you want to hear from this point, yeah. who do we need to hear from? Who, who do you who want to hear from? Who do we need to? <laughs> Everyone who did draft work. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of. Uh, so you have like an artist, Chloe Dean, Winnie Diaz, who used to dance for Hamburg and now is working uh, freelance. Uh, you have Rebecca Stewart, I'm right, from Royal Ballet School for wow. year. She, like, yeah, pushing. I, I, I said to her that I'll pull it online to go, she really Please. wants to join. She really wants to join the Royal Ballet, Kevin. I'm just saying, I said it for her. Amazing. So she can see that online. So, no, I, I think Fresh there's up. really, yeah. So I thought I'd say that. It's my opportunity to say it. Uh, yeah, I think there's really new voice, and there's voices in the company that, you can tell one of makes. So I think it's just about them just being pushed a mm. little bit, actually go and make yeah. the work. Mm. So, and you made the work the other day, so yeah, did. as well. Just Thank you. Say another, that. Shout <laughs> another shout out. Another shout out as well. And, and you performed it as well. Another shout out. Yeah. <laughs> Enough so, yeah. shout outs for no now. Worries. We're going to see your work. <laughs> yep. uh, and it's mm. the film that we were talking about, yeah. and it features company dancers Marcelino, mm. Joseph, Mariana, and Francisco. Here's yeah. Rhythm in Resilience. Thank you. My name is Joseph Tunga, and I'm the emerging choreographer for the Royal Ballet. I was born in Cameroon, but raised up in the East End of London, Newham, and I'm super glad to be here to be able to present you this new festival at the Royal Opera House in collaboration with the Royal Ballet. It's been a crazy experience, I think, and a fun experience, surreal working with the Royal Ballet over the last couple of years. And I think speaking as a, you know, a black maker, I've been lucky enough that, you know, there have been people in a company that have supported me through this journey and other peers that, you know, have allowed me to feel like I belong and I should be in this space. I think it's really important, I think, to see other black and brown creatives in the, in the Royal Ballet, just because it shows, you know, possibility that it is, it is reachable. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, at this year's Black History Month, you know, we have set up a festival that allows more young creatives, more voices to feel like there is a pathway to come into make, uh, to come and make with the company. I think what I would want other people to take from this festival is, I think something I've been saying before that, anything is possible. My name is Mariana Tsenkenhoi and I'm an artist with the Royal Ballet Company here in London. I grew up in Kiev, Ukraine, and I trained in a private ballet school until I was 16 years old. And then I received a scholarship to the Royal Ballet School, uh, from which I graduated into the Royal Ballet Company. Growing up in Kiev and attending the school with predominantly um, children from Eastern European background, I was the only person of color within the whole school. Um, and I did not really have someone to look up to. I was told that it would be difficult for me to establish myself um, in the ballet world in Ukraine at the time because I looked different and I did stand out, not necessarily in the best way. Um, so receiving the scholarship to the Royal Ballet School and being surrounded by people from different backgrounds um, really did inspire me to keep going. And even though being little and hearing things like 
you won't make it. Still didn't stop me because my dream was too strong to stop. Hi, my name is Francisco Serrano. I'm a first artist here at Royal Ballet. Uh, I come from the US. I'm Cuban American from Florida. Um, I started ballet when I was 13, 14. Something that I didn't really think I I knew I needed or kind of something that I was interested in in the sense of my self-interest in, in this project has kind of grown as it's gone on. Um, even just talking in you know small meetings and with people and also seeing what other people have done. Um, I think it's very important just to try to get this diverse group of talented, young, beautiful dancers um, a chance to like, first of all, see this, but then also kind of join this space in this world. Um, so I think it's, it's, uh, I'm starting to hold this very dear to my heart. My name is Marcino Sambe. I'm a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet currently. I come from Portugal. I've been in the UK for the past 14 years. Um, I, my background started with African dance then from African dance to hip hop, then from hip hop I found out I could do the split so I was like let's try the ballet so I went and did some ballet classes and um, you know, it was all just, it all happened so organically, it was amazing. The moment that I found this vocation of dance and uh, entertainment, I found something so special within me that I didn't know I had and you know it's been a, a development and it's been such a, a journey. My name is Joseph Sissons. Um, I'm a first soloist of the Royal Ballet, and I've been I've been with the Royal Ballet now for eight seasons. Um, I started dancing when I was six or seven. Three years ago, I decided to start my dreadlock journey, um, which was crazy <laughs> because I was very aware of the history of the Royal Ballet and the history of ballet in general and I think there are only, there's me and um, I don't mean to miss anyone out but who I'm aware of there's another principal in Canada who has dreadlocks in the ballet world so it's just not, it's not seen as Eurocentric eccentric beauty which most ballets are about, Eurocentric beauty and it was a way for me I think after the pandemic especially I was really mentally destroyed by lots of things that happened and I remember sitting down and being like if I'm going to still be in this world, the ballet world, I have to show up as authentic as possible. If there's anything that I would want you know, someone to get out of this interview or, or, or any of it is just that if you have it within you, if you have that itch or you want that, you have something inside you of saying like, this is something that would make me happier. This is something that I hold true to myself. Just go and do it and don't apologize. And if things are in your way, you know, just bulldoze through it and, and, and get to where you want to get to because it's, it's going to be worth it. For me, it was kind of like, I can no longer assimilate. And I'm really fortunate that I have a director like Kevin O'Hare that was like, how do we figure out a way for you to be comfortable? And we had a really open conversation about it. And I was like, these are my boundaries, these are not. And I'm just really grateful for that conversation because now I wouldn't, I wouldn't be as free as I am on stage. Attending the Royal Ballet School, seeing senior dancers that looked like me, um, really inspired me and gave me this push to pursue my dream. Thank you so much to Joseph and Harrison for sharing that. And if you want to find out more about Joseph's work, then you can visit the website.
Now, up next, it's a rehearsal of Carlos Acosta's dazzling production of Don Q. Um, but first, Kevin is back, and this time he's talking to artistic director of San Francisco Ballet, Tamara Rojo. Now, Tamara had an amazing career here as a principal dancer for, I think, 12 years. Then she went on to direct English National Ballet, and 2023 sees her as the, at the helm as artistic director of San Francisco Ballet, and she's creating her full first season for the company. Tamara, it's so nice Hello. to have you here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. It's nice to be back. Yeah, lovely to have you back. Yeah. And how exciting we're talking about the 10th anniversary of World Ballet Day. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. I think yeah. it's been so great to share ballet with audiences all over the world. Yeah, and now that you're the director of San Francisco Ballet, which was one of the companies that first started the whole thing off, it's brilliant that we're, we're joined up again together <laughs> yes. to do this. It's good. With, yeah. of course, Australian Ballet as well. Yeah, and yeah. So we kind of covered the globe. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if there's those people that really want to see ballet, they can see it for a whole 24 hours, <laughs> yeah, For they? sure. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful that you're here. Thank and you. And remembering, you know, all those amazing years you were here as a principal dancer, how do you feel about coming back and does it evoke all those Hopefully happy times. Yes, <laughs> it does, of course. I think especially this backstage uh, where I used to try my shoes before a show. So it was like my quiet time around here. Uh, but yeah, it was amazing 12 years in the company that we shared yes. together. And uh, I, I danced so many memorable things. I had fantastic partners. Um, I work with amazing people. I, I really have fantastic memories of, of the Opera House stage. Some of my highlights when I was here as the administrative director, you know, just remembering when you were in yes. Maths X Carmen, but then when you were Marguerite Armand with Pure Ashton, all these roles that you remember. And then one thing that we worked on really closely together, I think, which was sort of an amazing experience, dancing at the O2. Yes. And doing Romeo and Juliet there. And I think that first night there was something like 13,000 people watching yes. you and Carlos lead the company in that. And it was a really special occasion, really. Yeah. Going back to World Ballet Day, of course, now, as in my role as artistic director of San Francisco Valley, I feel that we are sometimes a little bit far. And I am so excited to share what we're doing, you know, all the amazing projects and new creations and my dancers, you know, who are so fantastic. So I feel that, especially after the pandemic, with people kind of got more used to watching ballet uh, through a camera or through a computer or television screen, that this is a great opportunity to A, share what we're doing with the world, but also connect between organizations, between companies. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess I wanted to ask you, how, how do you see it? And, and why do you still think you want to be part of, of leading this? Yeah, I think it is, it is exactly as you say, it's really important because, you know, the world, uh, has changed so much and to be able to connect with the audiences but also the dancers across the globe is really important and uh, I noticed it we've just been in Japan we did a tour to Japan I really feel there's even from the times when you used to go and there was amazing connection with the audience there's an even greater connection now mm -hmm. and they so the the audiences really know the company know what the company is about um they'd love to see even more of what we do you know but they're there and the cinema program together with things like world ballet day really help us connect with people and i think that's a way you can bring people on a progression to go well you know what you think ballet is about but how about this like every job, it has its challenges. You know, being a director of a ballet company has those. But what are the aspects that really make you get up out of bed in the morning and think, can't wait to get in there? I think for me, first and foremost, is the dancers. It's seeing the dancers just embrace new challenges and be inspired and grow and develop into being an amazing artist. That's incredibly inspiring. So, and also passing on knowledge is such a fulfilling feeling that all of this heritage is not lost. Mm -hmm. And then also seeing the audience reaction. I know how important it is to be in the audience when something amazing is happening on the stage and I'm sharing it with people around me and we're all transformed and transported. And so being the person that kind of facilitated that 
and seeing choreographers do amazing work and the audience be, yeah, and composers and design, you know, forever changed. Mm -hmm. That's also very inspiring. Yeah, no, it is brilliant for me as well. I think that that idea, because sometimes we're working on projects for two, three years, aren't we? If not longer, the, 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 <laughs> the, the kernel of the idea comes yeah. out. And, and so then when you are sitting there, you know, just that it all comes together and you create something that, as you say, then moves the art form on. And that's always a thrill. But then looking at um, the younger people that we can affect, you know, and we have our program Chance to Dance. And this last season, you know, we had the premiere of Light of Passage, which was by Crystal Pike. And one section was around, you know, the, the UN's um, the sort of constitution for, you know, looking after our children. And so they took that as, as the theme. And to see these young people from, you know, who'd never really been engaged in dance before, being so excited by trying to let their imagination go free and how they would uh, interpret those ideas, you know. So there's, it, from the big scale of being in an opera house and having those wonderful moments to being in a small studio and watching that is really fantastic. Mm -hmm. You can catch the second part of that conversation over on San Francisco Ballet's stream. They kick off at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Do visit the website for details on every single broadcast happening today. And before our next rehearsal begins, a reminder that you've still got enough time to send in any questions or comments you may have using the hashtag World Ballet Day. But now I have principals with me, Natalia Osipova and Rhys Clark. So lovely to have you both with us. Uh, Rhys, can you tell us what where or well, you're rehearsing today. Yeah, so today we're going to be rehearsing snippets of Act One, Don Quixote. Uh, we're still a week away from our performances, so Ken is still fine-tuning some details with our wonderful coach Zaneda. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been great. It's a debut for me, and um, it's been fun enjoying the, obviously the physical side of it. Also, the characterization has been a great process. So, and lots of laughs along the way as well. That's fun, <laughs> uh, Natalia. Not a debut for you. Uh, you've no. done uh, the role of Katri a number of times. I actually do it like. You know, if like Anna's like 20 years, it's my Seriously? it's my first uh, big production. I, I'm debuting Bolshoi. I'm to be like 20. It's my first role, key three years. And 20 years later, we finally debuting with Riz. No. How nice. And you seem to have struck up a bit of a, you know, working relationship. You know, I've enjoyed watching you, um, you know, work together. What do you guys think? Um, is so good about it or what makes it work? Or maybe not, you know, if you can get the inside scoop here today, that'd be great too. <laughs> No, it's great. I think it's come at a very nice time for our partnership, as you mentioned. Um, we've danced quite a lot of the big classics together, but for this production, there has to be a lot of trust, you know? There's a lot of big lifts and big lots of fast pirouettes and stuff, so the trust has to be there. But I think, yeah, we've really enjoyed the process, and it's great because it's a real company piece as well. You know, obviously, we have our nice solo moments and part of those, but there's lots of great characters involved, and the company's there with us on stage, so it feels like a nice team effort as well. So. Yeah. And any specific challenges in this role, Natalia, that you sort of look out for when you're going in? You know, it's actually, I think it's uh, what it's like really fantastic for me. I really love comedian. I really love uh, loving, you know, in like more ballet, it's always classical. You prima ballerina, you perfect, or it's like dramatical, but don't you, it's absolutely joy and fun and amazing. And uh, like every rehearsing, we have like uh, such an amazing mood. And uh, I'm so happy for Reese. We finally debuting next week with him and uh, look at him. He's just amazing. Yeah. He's all right now. He's very good. And well, let's just see it then. Let's go. Um, they'll be rehearsing the roles of Kitri and Basilio in Carlos Acosta's Don Q. Yes, Zaneda Yanovsky is coaching and they'll be accompanied by Michael Panster's on piano. Thank you so much. Great. So, Michael, we're going to take it from 
the second entrelacé, so she's going with her friends. Da, da, da. So don't, yeah, just pick it up from da di da di da di um, bum, yeah? Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's stop right there. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, fantastic. Do you feel that, uh, I felt like your hand was there for a little bit too long. Either you have to react a little bit sooner and just going, oh, this is what you think, or you can come a hair later. Okay. I think you could do, I, I have the feeling that you're coming down and already I know that you're going to put that hand. I think it has to be an afterthought. Sure. Yeah? Do you want to hear it just once, just to see how it, yeah? So this is after his uh, initial entrance. Bam, bam. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Uh, fab. Really good timing, I like that. Okay. So it's sometimes that I feel that you are looking down at her waist before you put. So I think too obvious, yeah. I think more like, how you doing? You know, instead of <laughs> much more chilled. Okay. Uh, as you walk around, uh, I feel that you are just going stop, stop, stop with this hand. Do you need to say stop? Uh, uh, or I wonder if you just go da, da, <laughs> you forgot about me. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try? Can we try that entrance just once again? Like walk a little bit slowly. Yeah, so yes, yes. So he doesn't have to rush. I think that's a good idea. Okay, excellent, much, much better. Yeah, I prefer that. That looks really good. Shall we pick up from after into the, what comes next, into the ram -ram 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 Good. Uh, yes, please, thank you. Okay, well, pause, pause, one second. Yeah, you're supposed to throw the guitar in the air, but there is no one to catch. Okay, let's go into a little into his solo. Thank you.
Fab. Excellent, excellent. Let's stop there. <laughs> Rhys, when you do the initial double tours into a la seconde, into close-up period, mm -hmm. I think you are, uh, you can come forward further on the end of the double tour. I think you're starting here, so you're not giving yourself that much of a chance okay. to then get yourself round. Absolutely. Yeah, so mark, m just mark for me the double tour into the ba ba ba. Yeah. At the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's it. That's it. Better. Exactly. Yeah. Make sure that after that, exactly, you really use that plie before you close in. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Very nice. And then the end was great. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Do you want to repeat? Um, would you like to repeat the beginning again with the music just to double check? Yeah? Uh, we are going from the beginning again. Thank you, Mike. Good. And finish. Boom. Yes, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect, that's it. Um, I also feel you can be a little bit more cocky when you go You know, a little bit more, yeah, stay towards her. Sometimes what happens is that you start, but you then come up a little bit. Mm. So make sure that you really, yeah, that's it, exactly, yeah. And then it means that coupe jete is a, you, a little bit tighter, mm -hmm. and, and I think it will just help you to get into that coupe jete. Yeah. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Uh, or pick up from the second one here, the first one, pick up from the second one? Second yeah? Okay. Uh, a little into the manège, thank you. And one. And hold, yes, one, done. That's it. Done, and one. Okay, thank you, excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. That has a, a much more... Yeah, it feels, do you feel yeah. like it has a little bit more empowerment, uh, right? Nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's go from the end into uh, the end of his solo into mm -hmm. continuing, okay? good. <laughs> okay, let's stop there. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, uh, this is very good when you close in. When you put the guitar, can you be less um, um, romantic? Okay. Less careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially because I know that it was on the, on the back of the notes, on the end of the note, which is fine. But, but be a little bit more your mind instead of uh, romantic, yeah. Uh, so then you come out, this is great. When, when at the end of the lift, I know, yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly, as you go around. I think 
that was so high that she couldn't quite lean this back. Yeah. 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 Let's try that just once so I can see. Uh, this is after, yeah, that's it. Da, da, da. And so you, yeah. And now, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, good, 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 good. Dun. Yes, I wonder, Reese, can you, once she's in here, can you loosen your grip a little bit so she can actually lean back a little bit for the end pose? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like yeah. 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 There is a moment where she gets settled and you can probably loose, loosen a little bit so she can lean. Yeah. Uh, let's do it from, with the music from uh, Natalia walking in. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah? Uh, this is from her walking in. Thank you. Yes, yes, this time the lean happened. Uh, was this like fine? Is this moment just lift or just slow the up and yeah, the back? Yeah. yeah, but the lift was a lot better. I wonder if actually you need to stop her because the, the, uh, right now what happens is that it, has a, it swings forward because she's kind of off the floor. It kind of swings forward and so she ends up a little bit like that and I wonder if you can bring your foot down a little earlier so then you are in a safer place so arabesque for longer as you come round come round and then juk so you are like this instead of like this you know what i mean yeah because otherwise of course you can't loosen your grip because she's really leaning yeah um try the drag into yeah and one yeah and now Yes, now she stayed for longer, but you stayed now for too long, sorry. <laughs> too little, too little. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, ta 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 ta. As she comes in, now you come in. Yeah, because like yeah. you're doing, yeah. Uh -huh. Try again, um, and don't try not to lift her up too much. Keep her nice and on the floor. Uh, just try it with other music, I think. Ta ta ta. And one. Ta. Yeah. Because now she's completely swinging. Keep her on the floor. Because huh? then I have to go lower, but you feel too low. I feel too low, yes. Okay. That's like the then don't pick up. Because I want to be like, you know, more like up, like that position. So then longer that legs, maybe? Or? Longer legs, and then, okay. uh, Natalia, then don't lift the legs. Just keep it nice and on the floor. Otherwise, he keeps going down. Okay. Good, yeah? yeah? Let's do it just once with the music. This is the fan flick. Okay. That's it, exactly. Yeah, that was a really good position. You, he still had a grip on her, but actually she, she then had the space to lean back. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Shall we continue? Yeah. Okay. okay. Dum, bum, bum. A little into. Yes. A little into that. Perfect. On the Taliban. Good. Remember to breathe. That's to soup. And oh. Good. Come across. 
Half even more, Reese. Yeah, with a leg. Et pas mal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. Very good. Reese, just remember you are you are now doing it with your with your body, but you forgot about your leg. A tiny bit further forward, okay? Let's go straight from bum, bum, bum. Thank you. Good, excellent, excellent, excellent. That back arm is swimming, swiki, swinging. Oh, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was swinging a little bit. And I wonder, uh, Reese, is because you are trying to overcross it too much. I would just go, dun, da, 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 skip it there. Yeah, exactly. I think when you when you try and go back is when it starts swinging. So really keep it there. Yeah, nice. Then the chain is da da da. da. Yeah, nice. Can we do that? Fin that end just once again. Dum ba da dum. The the rest was beautiful. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, we'll go from a little into bum ba da dum in the end. Yeah. back arm also, Natalia, and up, cha. Good. Excellent. All right, thank you. Great. That really works. Yeah. Nice. Have a little breather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stamina and yeah, absolutely. This is the hardest bit. Then you have a little break. Okay. Very good. Uh, just remember that developer. You, you, that one. You did the first one, but then the second one you have tendency to go straight out. You do a little developer, but it's not yeah. enough. So really, just go shup da da da. Yeah. Yeah. Barely any jump. So as you go wom ba da da da. Yeah. And yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, and develop it. Da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Da da da. And yeah, da 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 da. Da ya da 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 da. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And again, out da 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 da. And out da 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 da. Yeah. The more out, Natalia, the nicer it's going to look because you go pa. Yeah, exactly. Careful that you go out in. And so really out, da, 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 yeah, exactly. Accentuate that out because it, it shows. While the pas de bourree is just like in between, exactly. Nice, okay. Do you want to go into the next entrance? Dun, da, da. <laughs> da, da, dim, ba, yeah. Very good idea, yeah. yeah. And then the lift, perfect. Okay, let's go into the solos. We are going to go into her. Uh, Reese, do you want to do your solo first or do you want her? Yeah, perfect. Into the first, yeah. 
I like the settings. I just want more time in that corner, okay? So as you go. I agree. So as you go. Otherwise, what happens is that we get too much movement into the run. Yeah, separate a little bit. Let's take it from the second jump, and then you can pick up on the third one. Uh, yes, 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 exactly, yeah, why not, dun, 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 dun. yes, yeah, but, but exactly, just as you did, dun, 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 and then go, go for the run, don't, don't move all the time, we need a little bit of a pose, yeah, um, okay, pues let's start on the first jump, okay, thank you. Exciting, yes, beautiful. I like that. I like that yeah. very much, yeah. very much. And then it means that your runs are very. Um, that is, uh, th yeah. I don't know. I don't have the word, but you know what I mean. That you have that pause, yeah, and then you attack the runs, which is very exciting. But yeah. That more inside. Exactly. Yeah. Like. Well, no, no, no. It's mainly because if there is too much movement, we lose the the uh, purpose of the run of everything, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yes, perfect. And your timing, everything was really good. Really, really good. Excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's nice. Shook. Yeah. In there? I think so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So we are going to go now into the lift. Thank you. Excellent. Careful with your head that doesn't go spadesha that way. Yeah? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Raise that double into double. Again, I think you are, you are going double. You don't finish quite, and then you push yourself forward. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Do you want to hear it just one more time? Sure. Yeah? Shall we, shall we try that? Yeah. Uh, we'll go a little into that, yes. And. Good. Up. Yes, that's it. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Yeah, that, uh, that works beautifully. Yeah. Nice. Yeah? I. Yeah? What do you think? It's in like three, was it? Do you want. I, I like to do tavern. Para pa pam, para ram, pam pam. Da da da. Into the Soda Basque, okay? okay? Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, when you come in down the stairs, right? Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's stop, let's stop there. Let's stop there. Let's, let's mark that. So as you go. As you go uh, in here, Natalia, can you, instead of staying here, can you come in this way? Yeah? Yeah, that's it. As you go up, that was great, pa pa pa. And then when you cross again. Can you do this one Yeah. I think that's nice, actually. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like a little pique-ish, so you can just go da da, yeah. Yeah, I think that's nice. Shall we try that? Let's try that again, okay. That looks really good. Can I have you more quasi on the first one here? You, you are doing the right leg, but you are opening towards him. Can yeah? Can you just go more that way, sideways? Yeah. Yeah. Da 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 da. Yes, that's it. So you are both. Yeah. Nice. 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 Otherwise, very very good. Excellent. Okay. That worry works. Do you want to do the next one? Okay. Let's take it from pararam pam pararam pam pam par yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Good. Look at each other on the second one. Da, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's let's see that again. So we're we going to them. So this is Mercedes and, and Espada to them, to each other, to up. Do you? I wouldn't look up, uh, Reese. Can you look away into zoom? Is that okay? Okay. Let's have a look at that. So straight a, a little into. Thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ben. Yes, thank, thank you, you to you. Natalia, Rhys, Zaneda, and Michael for that wonderful rehearsal. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank you. Great, so if you enjoyed that rehearsal, I was sober, <laughs> losing my mind. Uh, you can mark the 7th of November in your diaries as it will be broadcast live to cinemas worldwide. And the pr principals on that night will be Matthew Ball and Mayara Magri taking on the leading roles in that very special performance. Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, it will be one not to miss. Um, as well as Don Quixote, there are a whole host of brilliant titles this cinema season from Swan Lake, 
and Christopher Wielden's The Winter's Tale to a mixed program of Kenneth McMillan's work as well as his searing ballet, Manon. Yeah, you can share in the joy of live performance from the best seat in the house, and it's across more than 50 countries around the world. Indeed. Well... So you've been sending in comments and questions all day and we've loved hearing from you. We've got a few just to go through now. Uh, watching from Dance Centre, Bangkok, Thailand. Happy World Ballet Day. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Jonathan says, I'm not going to get any work done today. This is such a treat. Uh, and favourite part so far is the Royal Ballet School rehearsing the Rhapsody Pas de Deux. Divine. That was gorgeous, wasn't it? Was it was great. I've got one saying I saw the cellist last week. It was amazing. The choreography is superb. Um, Panagiotta, I hope that's right. The last choreography was so special. The choreographer and dancers are so talented. The music was amazing as well. I'm out of sync now, but I wonder what that was. This has been so much today. It could have been, <laughs> could any, have been one of those rehearsals. And Christina said, thank you for this hymn to ballet. Lovely. Uh, and thank you so much for getting involved. We always love your participation in World Ballet Day, along with your comments, and it's always a highlight to see the World Ballet Day Challenge. Yes, we've had viewers from all over the world getting involved and keeping up with us today. Here are some of our favourites. Well, it's here, the final rehearsal wow. of the day. You can see uh, some of the Royal Ballet dancers getting ready to rehearse what may be the most featured piece in World Ballet Day history. Oh, well, it originated in a smaller work called Scherzo in 2020. It's Royal Ballet soloist, first soloist, sorry, Valentino Zucchetti. And now it's transformed into Anamoy, and it's a piece created especially for the younger members of the company. That's right. Kevin O'Hare is back with us. Um, Kevin, how did the work come about? Yes, uh, it was in those dark days of COVID, sadly, and we were doing World Ballet Day, and I really wanted something for the younger dancers to get their teeth into, because, of course, the principal dancers and soloists had managed to do things during COVID, but really for the younger dancers in the company. So I spoke to Valentino and asked him if he would create this work, and it's really a baby of COVID, but it's, uh, you know, it's been a fantastic success. It's back on the Opera House stage, and it's a really beautiful ballet, and he's very cleverly showcased each individual individual dancer and we're seeing the alternate cast tonight and uh, today as well rehearsing and it's really bringing out the best in all our young dancers in the company. It's amazing because there's so much talent isn't yes, there but sometimes yeah. they're not the opportunity yes, all the time so yeah, this is just yeah. incredible. Um, the music's gorgeous as yes, well isn't right it for this? Off, you know it's so beautiful and uh, and our orchestra sound wonderful playing it. I know I particularly know they love playing it as well it's really they, they were saying to me it's really sad it's the last two shows this oh, week. Oh you know. that's nice it's fulfilling yeah. for yes, everyone yeah, all for around, everybody on, uh, which yeah, is important. Yeah I think yeah, I think so. And I think that's what's really great when you can marry the music with the choreography like that. It's, it, it sort of all comes together in that way. Now, there's been a lot of new choreographic voices featured in World Ballet mm -hmm. uh, Day. Uh, what's so important to you about showcasing those? Well, I think it's wonderful to show the breadth of talent within uh, ballet and what, you, <laughs> what ballet can do in, in so many different ways. And also, I love it that choreographers come in and look at dancers in a different light. And so then we all see them in a different mm -hmm. light. So when I see somebody in a new work, sometimes that makes me feel, gosh, that person would be really great in this ballet too. And then that's how the career progresses. So I think it's really important for the lifeblood of the company, really. 
Mm. Well, let's get on with our last rehearsal. Can't wait to see it, Valentino. It's over to you. <laughs> so, dancers, let's take this opportunity to fix a couple of spacing uh, issues that we've had on stage. Obviously, readapt the, the spacing because it's not as big. So, Maestro, I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to do the, the Fuete entrance, so the two ladies' entrance uh, leading into the Fuetes, so that we can fix that spacing issue that it goes from the Fuetes to the lineup. Two things. Olivia, when you do the fuetes, don't be afraid to go closer to center with each other because anyway, with the fuetes, you anyway open up a bit. She compensates and then Ella really don't travel so that you, you give Mariana a chance to catch up with you. So let's see this. I'm going to see it from your entrance, ladies. Try to use like as much depth as possible in here. Can I have a 12 in before the two ladies come, up, come on? Please. And. Ten, eleven, twelve, in one. Seven. Six. Three. Three. And ten, eleven, twelve, and one. Five, six. Good. Keep the diagonal there, Ella. Now get closer, you two. Down, 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 up, up. Exactly, good. Now, Ella, don't travel. Better. Okay, good, good, good. Better. Thank you, Maestro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Better, just like. After the, after the level PRS, remember, one arm up, yeah? You just did the first arabesque. Better, just try as much as possible not to travel. And Mariana, I would say go for it after the, the, the especially the, the double fuetes, really go for it in the first hand level. Yeah, you can really go for it there. That's very good, we'll respace it again. Just um, um, when you come on, Ella, that doesn't really happen on stage, but make sure that when we do the run after, you come on and you, you wanna finish the suit to know that you're still in diagonal with, uh, with the, uh, the Olivia, yeah? Now, boys, one thing I want to try is the last V entrance that you're going to do with Harrison today because what's been happening on stage is there's almost always near collision. So, Harrison, can you just come into center where you more or less will be? Okay, he's going to position himself there. I want the small boys to be behind him to start, so the V needs to be further upstage. This is especially tonight, yeah? because I, I want to make sure that, uh, that otherwise um, Josh and the center boy are always going to clash. So can I hear this? Can I just have it from the, um, uh, the, the beginning of the finale? So we, we, we're going to do four eights before Harrison entrance, and then it's your, it's your turn to come on. Uh, I just want to make sure that if you can do that entrance, space in the further upstage to Harrison so that you don't clash. Okay, so straight on to the finale, four eights, and. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Good, keep going. Down, good, good. Okay. Olivia, early one, two, two, two. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Better. See, this way, boys, you're, there is no, no, no reason to clash. Harrison, we want to come in a little bit sooner. Yeah. You do five and six and seven, eight, so you do one, and so the one is up. Otherwise, you do one and two and three, and then you, you're eating yourself time for your preparation. Yeah? All right, dancers, we're going to go for a run. First thing. You have a show tonight, so if anybody wants to take it easy at any point, please do so, because we have the show tonight. And this run is very much for Harrison, who is stepping in, as he's uh, never performed it before, never rehearsed it before. Yeah, he's, he's saving the day tonight, so it's also very much for him. So be careful what, what he's going to do, but yeah, let's just do this for us and for him, all right?
uh, we're going to go straight from the beginning of the second movement. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try not to stop unless there is disastrous. Try to readapt the spacing because we're in a, sm a smaller space. So come on from further behind. Yeah, all of you. Otherwise, you're too far upstage. Sorry, downstage. Wait, 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 wait. Now we can start it with, with actual music. Ready? And. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's okay. The pleasures of rehearsal, so we can do it again. Okay? You okay? Yeah, sorry. Do you want to put some extra water or something? Just put some extra water on. Yeah? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ready? And. And twelve. Six. Now we have space in Josh. Good. One, two, three, four. A little bit early there. Two, three. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good, good, good.
seven, eight, then down, down, down. Good. Really watch each other while swimming in the front. Six and seven and eight and one. Very good, very good, yeah? Very, very nice. While we use a few minutes, can I just, um, when you do the fuete, can you, uh, can you come closer? So basically, if, if, if Ella and Mariana, if you can come closer to do these fuetes, and the two ladies at the back come even closer, then, when you, then it would be easier to catch up, yeah? So, because she actually didn't move much at all. It's just because it was, it was so far, you know what I mean? So you nearly, nearly don't make it. Harrison, would you like to hear your solo again, the first one? Yeah. yeah. Can we just uh, can we just hear the can we just hear the male solo again, please? So the twelve o'clock, the twelve. Um, the two ladies before that, it, it was really good. So now at the beginning, can you be further apart in the diagonal? You, you're getting dangerously close to being a line now. So when you come on, it was you read together, really good. Just don't anticipate before your pirouettes. Yeah. I want to make sure that by the time you do this one, you go on the floor is still a cannon. Uh, just a 12 in, just so you know the, because you actually went for it and now you, we are a little bit late. Yeah, thank you, Anne. Thank you, Maestro. Thank you, thank you. You're still, see what I mean? This is, a, this is what I'm saying after you do um, here the chasse jete, ta ta ta, here. Ta ta ta, seven, eight, and one ta 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 ti ta ta ta. Here, you wanna, don't make it even. You wanna do entrelacé, down, and go straight away. It's almost like you don't wanna finish, yeah. So that you got that, you got that time to do that. Uh, and then after this little bash here, ta 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 ta, it's arm crossed. So if here you do, you do, that, so you, that's the position before you do the shenis. So you do here, ta, ta, there, for then, here. For then, then you do the shenis. Okay, thank you very much, guys, yeah? yeah thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Val. Thank you. Good luck tonight, everyone. You're gonna be amazing. Thank you to the company, to Grant Green. Thank you on the piano. We've got our wonderful <laughs> notator, Gregory. Thank you, and to Valentino. Um, I mean, wow. Wow, <laughs> indeed. What a day, hey? It's been great. Um, and a particularly special one for us, as this year marks the 10th anniversary of World Ballet Day, and we couldn't let the moment pass without having a little look back at some of the highlights over the last decade. Hello, world. We are coming to you live from London's Covent Garden. From the Royal Opera House, home of the Royal Ballet. To celebrate World Ballet Day. Our epic five-hour live broadcast. It is magnificent. Bringing back so many memories. I have to say, I love this. When it's all about the feeling that's coming through the physical moves. You get to see different styles, different approach in dancing. It's just so enriching for all of us, you know? It's just a great thing. I, I, I love it. OK, here we go. What is wonderful is that a company like this, with the repertoire we've got, can embrace from very young to very mature artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try that one more time. Five, six, seven, go, drop, boom, and ta ta. Yeah, that's the one. Everybody from London, it's been a pleasure. Woo! See you soon.
What an incredible way to see out 10 years of World Ballet Day. And it doesn't end here, with 66 companies across the world streaming on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram channels. There is so much more to see. Yes, it grows every single year. This truly is our biggest uh, year yet. You'll find a whole host of behind the scenes action by searching the hashtag World Ballet Day. And do make sure to visit the website to see the full lineup. But it's time for us to say goodbye here from the Royal Ballet. I mean, what a day we've had. Yes, indeed. A huge thanks to Ricky Gale Conway for supporting World Ballet Day and the dozens of guest companies around the world for joining in with us. We couldn't do it without you all. And an extra special thank you to our partners from San Francisco Ballet and the Australian Ballet. But for now, from all of us here in Covent Garden, it's... <laughs> goodbye! goodbye. <laughs> Drop <laughs> <laughs>